Good morning. It's another Thursday morning. It's our first date. No, I'm not holding a session in the House of Representatives. I am not visiting my projects, many of them in Antique. We are now in the Stories for a Better Normal. For those who have not been with us in the past several weeks since the ECQ, since the GCQ, since this pandemic, since COVID-19 had overtaken our lives, we decided that we will not allow any virus, any pandemic to take over our lives. Instead, we will use it as the best opportunity to overcome the challenges, to reform the vulnerabilities and the setbacks and the old normal ways we had, which was not the best norm. So in the House of Representatives, to which I now belong, and I'd like to greet all our Casimanoas from Antique who are faithfully watching us, but actually, whether you're in Metro Manila, in the Visayas, or Mindanao, or you're Filipinos living abroad, yes, they always watch us, and for those I have not acknowledged in the past weeks. Yes, I will read all of you now. And um, I just like to acknowledge our partners for this weekly webinar. You know, I don't want it to sound so complicated. Webinar, webinar. Tayo po yung nagkukwentuhan. Ako po si Loren Legarda, dating senador ng tatlong termino, ngayon representante ng Lone District ng Antique where the mountains meet the sea, pero sa kana yon. <laughs> and um, author of more than eight environmental laws, including the Climate Change Act, and a human being who cares about the planet, who cares about permaculture, who cares about agroecology, who cares about the safety, the health, the well-being of our people. And so now, for those who care most and perhaps know most about our well-being, who are these people, aside from the medical doctors? Dahil dapat po preventive, di ba? Hindi dapat puro laklak ng laklak ng gamot. Dapat tayo tama ang kinakain. Dapat tayo tama ang nutrisyon. Dapat po alam natin ang ating tinatanim, ating binibili, ating linuluto o hindi linuluto, pati pag-ugas ng pagkain, food safety. At dapat alam din natin, ang mga kabihasnan at sinaunang pagkain, culinary heritage. Alam nyo po, hindi sapat ang isang oras para pag-usapan ang dieta. Hindi dieta lang pagpapayat, pero gusto ko rin mawala ng ilang kilos at ang aking nutritionist na kaibigan ay kasama natin, Mrs. Buena, Virgie, if you're there with us, nauna na ako sa pagpakilala <laughs> because she was the one who gave me the idea to um, have this topic. And we have our nutritionist morning. experts. Yes, hi, Virgie, I need to see Good morning, you. speaker. Good morning. Good morning. speaker, Naku Lauren. Yes, yes. Um, Nako, marami pa akong ipapakilala na una ka dahil ikaw ang nagbigay sa akin ng uh, information or let me see the inspiration and the suggestion when you texted me uh, maybe a month ago on another subject. But before I uh, introduce all our special experts and guests today, let me just thank the Climate Change Commission. They are so helpful and uh, because the difference of our webinar is it is science-based. Hindi po tayo uupo dito magkwentuhan. Kita nyo sa ating roster ng mga guests, puro sila eksperto sa kanilang mga fields. When we had mental health, we had the best psychiatrists, psychologists. When we had um, permaculture, we had the experts and those working with the soil and the land. When we talked about ecological solid waste management, we had the Mother Earth Foundation and the implementers of ecological solid waste. So our partners for this weekly Stories for a Better Normal are the Climate Change Commission. Thank you very much. And of course, the Institute for Climate and Sustainable Cities. Sustainability is the name of the game. Let it not be a buzzword. Ano ba yung sustainability? Ibig sabihin, ang ating finite resources, 
ang ating mga natural resources ay nagagamit natin sa pamamaraan na marerenew at maregenerate na susustain natin. Hindi po natin inuubos. Uh, kaya partner po natin yung Institute ng Climate and Sustainable Cities na matagal ko nang kasama si Red Constantino sa ating climate agenda, climate fight. And kasama natin ang mga kabataan ng climate reality leaders, ang mga na-train ng aking matalik na kaibigan na si Vice President Al Gore, kasama natin ating mga climate leaders led by my former staff who's now mm, the head of climate Philippines, I see Nasreen Castro. And of course, Sonia Mendoza is with us with the Mother Earth Foundation who has constantly taught us on segregating waste at source, recycling, and composting. And she's also with us. And also with us is my legal expert, not just as a lawyer, but uh, an expert on biodiversity, Attorney Ipat Luna. We talk literally about the birds and the bees and many more, including dragonflies and butterflies from the wee hours of the morning to midnight. Okay, I'm sure Ipat is somewhere there with us in our Zoom. Who else are our partners? I see CSC, climate reality, climate change, and of course, always with us are down to earth. Uh, the Abadisturi couple who always help us plant and have taught me and my staff how to plant, just like Sonia Mendoza helps me in explaining to people the segregation of waste at source, recycling, and composting. Nicolo and Paula Abadisturi are able to operationalize and work on the ground so that they help policymakers like me. And I filed the Forest Garden Act. I filed um, the Better Normal Bill already passed on second reading, which has great provisions. Mga linya po nandyan, ang mandatory, ang magtanim ng ating mga kinakain. So ang tanong ko po ngayon umagang ito, bago ko ipakilala isa-isa ang ating mga eksperto. Do you grow your own food? Or do you buy in the market sa talipapa o sa grocery at supermarket? Kung kaya niyong magtanim sa inyong farm kung meron kayo, sa inyong maliit na lupa kung meron, kung meron kayong garden, at kung wala, maski ba konting semento, garahe, o maski anong papag, ay maski anong resikulong bote, lata at plastic, magtuhog lang ng kangkong, tutubo yan. Magtuhog lang kayong alokbati, siguradong tutubo. Pag hindi tumubo, bibigyan ko kayo ng buto because we actually give seeds. So I guess before we introduce our panel, uh, we have art cards, yes, on those who were given starter kits. Ano ba yung starter kits? Ayan, every week nagbibigay kami, ha? Partner din natin ang DENR at ang Department of Agriculture na siyang nagbibigay ng mga buto na pamigay na ba, Sherry Kaya, yung aking mga buto to na pinagyabang ko last week na aking tinuyo mula sa aking kinakaing avocado, rosel at marami pang iba. Kung di pa napapamigay, mag-coordinate kayo sa Climate Change Commission. Yung starter kits po ay uh, pinamigay natin sa mga nakarang episode at ito po ang ating mga seed growers, seed savers at individual uh -huh. Let me see on my screen, if I may. Si Flor de Leon ng San Juan. Aba, nakakuha ng buto. Malaki, pat malaki ka agad. Ah, meron ka ng halaman dati. <laughs> okay, Tami, Africa ng Paranaque. Antoinette Acantilado ng Maynila. Engineer Critzel na Madaluyong and Sherwin ng Pasay. Bakit puro Metro Manila? Gusto ko, meron din ang aking mga kasimanwa sa Antique. Aha. Ibig sabihin, may bago ko yung homework mga staff ko. Hindi lang sa Metro Manila tayo na minigay ng urban gardening starter kits, but every region of the Department of Agriculture, and I will ask you to coordinate for that, will give away starter kits, especially because there's probably bigger space. You know, can my one of my staff called Ricky Law, you know, the number one columnist in entertainment of Philippine star, Ricky Law, sabi ko, Ricky, Nagtanim ka na ba sa buhay mo? Sabi niya, oo, dati pa sa summer at saka sa grade school. Sandali, sabi ko, matagal-tagal na yata yon. Pinadalang ko siya ng luyang dilaw, turmeric, na sa coco pot. Pinadalang ko siya 
ng lemon tree. Very pretty. <laughs> At pinadalang ko siya ng parsley. Maybe he can watch and log in with us because sabi niya, thanks, thanks. It's never too late to start planting. And so, to tell us about diet, nutrition, and culinary heritage, konektado po lahat yan. We have the national president of the Nutritionist Dietitians Association of the Philippines, Zenaida Velasco. Hello, good morning. Are you with good us? Good morning. Yes, po. Yes. Hi. Thank Iba, importante you. Po. Yeah, very good. We will learn from you. Importante, hindi lang ang kala nila ang jeta pagpapayat lang or ang jeta para uh, sumeksi lang or magkasya ang ating mga pantalon, hindi ba? Importante, tamang pagkain para iwasan ang sakit, di ba ho? Tama po. Okay. At tutukuyin natin ngayon ang mga pagkain to promote uh, mental health po. Ayun, importante. Ah, ay, interesting. That's so interesting. <laughs> ano ang mga natural na gulay? Pagkain. Uh, gulay at saka uh, prutas. Prutas. At puno na maaring itanim. Ano mang halaman uh, sa pasok man o sa farm o sa garden o sa ma ano man uh, pwede na nakaka-promote ng mental health. Tama Ibig po. Sabihin, para wag tayo malungkot, di ba? Para wag tayo ma-depress, hindi ba? Para tayo maging mas matalino at mas magaling ang memory. Naku, parang gusto ko malaman na ngayon noon. Sige na, bago pa kilala ko, sige na, nabibitin ako. Bilis, ano lang, we go to the other guest. Um, random lang. Eh, you'll make your sige. presentation later. Um, yes. Ano pong pinakamagagandang prutas at gulay na nagpo-promote ng mental health? Magtatanim ka agad ako pagkatapos ng show. Saging. Aba, saging. Sandali pa ako. Sandali. <laughs> Ayan! Okay. Okay. Kaya pala! Kaya pala! Hindi ako malungkot! <laughs> Alam po ng mga staff ko, habang po sa Senado noon, sineserve ko ano-ano mga pagkain na oily, na naka-plastic, ako po ay saging. saging na saba. Ito hindi saba kasi itong parang senyorita. Tanim ko po ito sa aking maliit na farm. Pero po, okay. yung Senado noon, ako ay saging na saba. Mm. Okay, saging. Ayan! Oh. Ano po, isa po. Pinya. Ay, nako. Pineapple. Nagtotonin din ako ng pinya. Huwag ka na maghanap. <laughs> ano pa? Ano pa po? Avocado. Nako. Nagtotonin din ako. Avocado. Buti na lang. Yung tatlo kong tinatanim. <laughs> At yun ang kinakain ko everyday. Kaya lang ang avocado, di ba, nakakataba. Pero yung buto Hindi na naman avocado, po. nakakataba. Nag-gain ako ng one pound kasi kain ako ng kain avocado. Sige. We'll get back to you. We will Sige pa. Chairperson, thank, thank you. you. Marami akong akin na ang cellphone mo, magtatawagan tayo pagkatapos Sige, ng Sige, ma'am. Sige pa. Chairperson of the Board of Nutrition and Diet Dietetics. Tama ba ho, Ms. Virgit? Dietetics of the Professional Regulation Commission. You know, um, she was my um, nutritionist uh, maybe more than 10, maybe 15 years ago. Sana online si Cara. Cara Pascual Gonzalez, uh, my close, closest friend, Mula nung kami five years old, mahina daw internet niya. Siya nagpakilala sa akin kay Miss Virgit Buena. And hi, Virgit! Oh, how's your cell site? Are you with us, Virgit? We need you. Okay, wala pang audio. We'll get back to you. Ang ating isa pang uh, expert na yon ay taga University of the Philippines College of Home Economics. Alam mo yun na sa AS ako. Yung ako yung nasa UP. Palay kong dinadaalan ang HE. Okay, we have Professor Luchi Calianta. Hi, Prof. Are you with us? Hello po. Yes, good morning. Hi. Good morning po. Nako, uh, I'm sure um, you were not yet in HE when I was in UP Diliman. But palay kong dinadaanan ang HE at doon ako kumakain. Anong pangalan po nung ating cafeteria sa HE? Doon po ako kumakain? The Tea Room. Tea Room? Nandiyan pa ba ang Tea Room? Yes po. Ay, Alive and well. <laughs> Talaga? Yes. Can you ask okay. again? I'll get your number. I'd like to see pictures of the tea room. Dahil doon po ako makain. Alam ko pa yung mga yung uh, bintana ano, na malalaki at saka may mga parang lace ang um, lace ang kurtina no, ng tea room. Okay. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh. What year were you in? What, uh, what year were you there? Okay. Ayan na. Student number na po. Ano? 76 po ang student number ko. So Ay, nagkasabay tayo. Nagkasabay yes, tayo. Ma'am. Oh, Ako'y 7709178. Oh. 
and I would pass by HE, and I would see the tea room, and I would eat there. Um, may I request you, please, because I have been telling um, President Danny Khan to really be the model for ecological solid waste management. If the whole UP system is still not strictly implementing Republic Act 9003, can I kindly request you, Prof, to That's at not. least in HE, to be the leader for all the UP system to segregate, absorb, recycle, and compost. And Sonia Mendoza, hello, Sonia. Katex ko hanggang midnight kagabi. Please collaborate with Prof so that um, the, at least the HE uh, does and implements the law of 2001. Because I'm not sure that the whole UP system strictly implements, even my own college of MASCOM. But naman, nine UP tayo, pangalawa ay 2001, 19 dal dalaga na po yung ating batas. Um, sana po yung ating mga food waste ay ginagamit Opo. natin na uh, food compost, uh, kung pwedeng bukashi composting, so much the better. Yes. Tapos yung ating bote, lata plastic, ay tamnan natin ng mga gulay o herbs na pwedeng makain. Pwede, Prof? Opo. Opo, makakadating po kay Dean Shirley Guevara. At okay. saka, uh, since we handle food nga also in our laboratories, we do um, segregate. Very good. Uh, we teach our, our students to segregate. And our staff, meron po silang uh, konting taniman po sa likod ng age. Very good. So uh, I would assume that the College of Home Economics has a compost pit where you throw your food waste and tinatakpan po nyo ng soil at saka ng twigs at saka ng dry leaves para po hindi mabangaw. At saka, hinihiwalay po nyo ang inyong bote, lata, plastic sa inyong material recovery facility yes. at yung hindi po marisikulo at yung papel po nakahiwalay din, nakabukod, pati yes. tissue waste, nakabukod po. Ang matitira na lang, yung tinatawag natin residual o lata, ay yan ay maaring 20% na lang. Yun na lang po ang kukulekta. Uh -huh. Tama po? Yes, huwag po kayo mag-alala. Ma ma naumpisahan na po yan, kailangan lang natin i-revive kasi nga dahil sa covid Nako! <laughs> Sorry, Prof, I will disagree with you even if you're one year ahead of me. Hindi po dahilan ang kasi COVID, kaya hindi natin sinusunod ang batas. Lalo na dahil COVID, dapat natin striktuhan ang pagpatupad po ng batas. Ha, Prof? Opo. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I will ask for pictures of your MRF, your, oh, yes. um, your bins. Uh, kasi po, sa bahay ko, lima ang aking trash bins, pati po sa Senado noon, at the House of Representatives, and my staff know that, wow, all hell breaks loose when they don't yeah. segregate waste. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, joining well. us, the founder, thank you, Prof, we'll get back to you. There's a founder of, ay, napaka-interesante nito. Tika, di ba pinag-usapan natin na we will do culinary heritage mapping in our yes. uh, previous episode? Uh, Tala and Cherie and EPAT um, and Climate Change Commission, uh, I hope you've started. I know marami tayong trabaho. Ito pong heritage mapping ay dapat gawin natin with the Philippine Culinary... Cul I'm sorry, I will repeat. I'm too excited. The Philippine Culinary Heritage Movement and head of the Slow Food Youth Network, Chef Jam Melchor. Jam, are you with us? Simulaan mo na nga uh, itong mapping para alam na ng aking mga staff where do we come in. It will be, um, hey, wait, Cara sent it on Facebook. Cara Pascual. Okay, napakasarap magluto ng kanyang asawang si Arnel. Cara, are you with us? <laughs> Virgin is with us. Okay, so uh, have we started on our culture mapping? Not yet, no? Chef Jamal Chor, are you with us? Hi, Kong Lauren. Nice Hi. to see you virtually. Yeah, Chef Jam, simulan mo na yung proposal mo ngayon hapon, email mo na sa amin. Yung ating culinary heritage mapping, ayokong regional, gusto ko provincial. Kasi 80 provinces, kung region, kulang yan. Dahil sa isang region, iba-iba. For example, sa amin sa Panay, iba yung pagluluto ng Ilonggo, iba naman yung luto ng Kinaray. Ah, pero similar. O sige, kung gusto mo, kung mahirapan tayo sa 80 provinces, ay pwedeng regional, tapos one chapter per region. Hindi ba maganda? At kasama yes. dyan, kung ano ba ang mga herbs, 
ang mga puno, ang mga bulaklak at mga uh, bagay na kapaligid na maaring kainin. Pati yan ng pagmamapa ng pagkain. Kasi saan ba manggagaling ang pagkain kundi na rin sa mga tanim, hindi ba? Gaya ng, gaya ng uh, batuan, yan, di ba? Sa panay, o oh, yan, pampaasim. Ako naman, ang aking pampaasim, meron akong batuan, pero meron din akong libas, di ba? O, oh, gaya sabihin mo ng dahaw ng alagaw, alam ba natin na ang alagaw ay hindi lang pang uh, rap ng isda para mawala ang lansa, kundi na rin, di ba? Pwedeng kainin ang dahaw ng alagaw, hindi ba? Pwede sa salad. O baka, o baka mali ako, chef. Pwede, pwedeng pwede. Ito ang tanong ko sa'yo. Yung neem tree. Dahil gustong gusto ko yung neem tree dahil malamok eh. Diba? Panong panandengge. Pero ang neem tree naman, kailangan palang tirisin mo yung at malabas yung sap ng, ng uh, puno, ng um, leaves para kumontra sa lamok. Pero may nagsabi at nabasa ko na pwede raw kainin ang mga dahon ng neem or pwede mong pakuluan at pwede mong inumin na juice o nakakalason ba yun? No, pwede siya actually. In fact, okay, sinubukan, sinubukan ko rin siyang ilagay sa curry. Aba! Ang sarap niya. Ako gagawa tayo. Gawa ka nga ng blog on culinary. Itong ating ginagawa ay maliban sa hard copy, gagawa tayo ng simpleng uh, libro. Uh, Sherry, sana meron ako dito ng aking uh, protected areas na librong simple. Pero sa panahon ng pandemya, mas maganda, gawa tayo ng uh, dedicated platform for culinary heritage. Uh, sorry, staff. We have additional work. It's exciting. So, payag kaya si uh, Slow Food Youth Network, si Chef Jam, na kapartner ka ng aking opisina at ng Climate Change Commission at lahat ng aking partners kasama na ang DA ATI, Agriculture Training Institute. I hope they are with us because we will make this a collaborative effort so that people can plant trees, flowers, vegetables that are endemic, indigenous, and endangered. Yung mga nawawala na itanim para buhayin natin ni muli. Dapa? Tama, Chef Jam? Siyempre okay. po. Okay. Kasama natin din ang isang indigenous Filipino organic farm entrepreneur. Alam mo, maraming pangalan yan. May mga permaculture experts, may mga advocates ng agroecology, meron din Farm entrepreneur. Ako yata lahat eh. Matagal ko nang ginagawa yung organic farming. Oh, ako ang author ng batas ng ecological solid waste. Without my realizing or taking a course on permaculture, ang tagal ko na pala nagpa-permaculture. Aba, may bagong term. Farm entrepreneur. Manuel Onalan. Si Mang Manny po ay kasama natin. Anong farm po kayo, Mang Manny? Hello? He is in the farm. If Mang Mani is not yet online, we will have you later. Or do we have you, Mr. Onalan? Okay. Uh, we will have him later. Our sixth guest is from UP Visayas, my alma mater, University of the Philippines. We have many collaborations with UP Visayas, the Center for West Visayan Studies. We have Sasha Joso. Join us, please. Hello. Mayad nga aga, ma'am. Kasi maniwala. Mayad nga aga. Yes, mayad nga aga. You're Antikenyo? Yes, ma'am. Taga Pandan, ma'am. Oh, sabi ko na nga eh. But, <laughs> but you're with UPB Science now. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Very good. So, can you join us with Chef Jam for the mapping of our culinary heritage, at least in so far as Region 6 is concerned? Yes, ma'am. Sure, ma'am. Very good. Duro, gid ka salamat, ha? <laughs> okay, ma'am. Sige, ma'am. Itong ating plant-based chef at founder ng Ecology of Food, Asha Perry. How interesting. Asha Perry, are you with us? Hello? Yes, the others siguro. Baka nahihirapan pa sa kanilang link. O, magsimula muna tayo kay uh, Miss Senaida Velasco. A uh, simpleng tanong. Ang diet ang nutrition, ang ating kinakain, ang ating uh, kalusugan, ang ating mental health. Ano po ang connection lahat niyan? Maliban sa na-excite akong sinabi nyo, yung top three foods na nakakatulong sa mental health. Ayan. Ano ba ang 
ang kahalagahan ng tinatawag na balanced diet para sa ating physical health at mental health. So, una, sabihin po natin, nutrition at dieta. Physical health, mental health. Ano po ang dapat kainin? Okay. Kayo na po. I will stop talking. 25 minutes na. Puro ako nagsasalita. <laughs> Okay na ba? Okay so, na po. So, good morning. Yes. Slides po. Good morning. Yes, very so, good. Deputy Speaker Loren Lagarda, we have been together long, long time ago at the Joe Andrew Figure Salon. Si Pagsipag niyo po mag-exercise. And I love your pink uh, tights and letters. So, Ay, naku! <laughs> medyo matagal na yan. Naku, <laughs> you were still a nine, student. 1978 po yun. Opo, opo. The Green Hills. Yes, okay. Meron po kayong I, letrato? Meron kayong letrato? Uh, I, I don't know if we have a, a photo of in stock, pero I would always remember you, the beautiful lady wearing the pink. Uh, talaga naman, I don't know if pink is your favorite color, wearing the letters and the tights na talagang terno-terno. Uh -huh. Pero, okay, <laughs> before you start with your presentation, yes. I will reveal to them my secret at that time. Sige na nga, 1970. Oh, sige. Sige. Na, mm. You tell them why I was in Jo Andrew. It is the opposite of what most people do. <laughs> Sabihin nyo. You were there to gain weight. Yeah. It was a yes. weight gain program. Yes, at yes. At ang kain sa akin ay... Saging. Pinakain niyo po ako ng isang piling ng saging kaya ang tawag ko sa akin sa UP College of Mascom, ano ba yan? Parang unggoy, kain ng kain ng saging. Sige po. Presentation na okay. po. Sige. Mm. Uh, I'm only given five minutes. So sabi no, nga natin, ang, yeah, mm -hmm. pandemia can be very stressful. No? Marami tayong iniisip, marami tayong mga fear and anxieties and therefore now overwhelmed po tayo dumagdag pa po dyan yung tinatawag natin na social distancing. So, medyo na-isolate tayo, nahiwalay tayo sa mga barkada natin, nabawasan yung ating gimmick, nabawasan yung ating paglalakwad siya. Okay? Therefore, it matters talaga when you wanted to achieve mental health, one of the cornerstones would really be food. So, yung kinakain mo, at hindi mo rin kinakain will affect your mood and behavior. Next slide. So, tignan po natin yung tatlong critical periods of brain development where nutrition really matters. And most of this, itong mga three periods of brain development, medyo hindi po natin siya nabibigyan ng importance. And therefore, please take note na bago pa lang isilang yung ating baby, in the four weeks po, meron po tayong tinatawag na neural plate. And this now becomes the foundation of our brain and spinal cord. Now, during this week, pag ang isang nanay ay masyadong mataas ang stress level niya, there may also be a problem in brain development. To add to that, Meron rin po tayo mga mothers na mahilig rin po uminom ng alcohol, manigarilyo. And this can also affect brain development. Pumunta po tayo dun sa second critical period of brain development. Ito palagi po natin to tinatawag na first 1,000 days. And this is the period from zero hanggang uh, two years old. And this is the time that we need to advocate talaga breastfeeding because breast milk is a complete food and it also promotes bonding with the mother and the child. And that is important for emotional development. The third critical period would be from two to five years. And this is where 90% of the brain is really developed. And therefore, sabi nga natin, pang di natin inalagaan tung period na ito, maybe after five years, yung mga efforts po natin para i-reverse po yung brain damage, brain damage will already be useless. Next slide. Okay. So, 
paano tayo, because of this insight, nagkaroon tayo ngayon, this is where we recognize the role of nutrition, not only in mood, but also in brain development, and most importantly, in behavior. So this is a new field of nutrition, and you call it nutritional psychology. Next. Next slide, please. So, as a nutritionist dietitian, we also need to detect whether the dietary intake or the, nutri or the nutrient depletion can imitate mental health disorders. For example, if a patient or a client palagi na papagod, may anxiety, may depression, we do not right away say, Allah, may mental health problem yan. Because next slide, next, makikita niyo po ang mga emotional uh, symptoms like fatigue can be caused by low iron, anxiety, by a lack of B complex, depression can be caused by vitamin D. So ang sinasabi lang po natin dito, we should be able to detect whether the symptoms are mental health or is it because a sign of nutritional deficiencies? Next slide. So, we have to accept that food will affect our brain because sa mga kinakain po natin are the precursors or sila rin po yung uh, ginagamit natin para mabuo po yung mga neurotransmitters. At yung mga neurotransmitters na ito are chemical messengers that will tell our body what to do and how to feel. And therefore, pag sinabi natin neurotransmitters, more or less, we're referring to dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. Tignan po natin sila isa't isa. Next slide. So, may apat na chemicals that will make you happy. Sabi nga natin, one is serotonin, siya po'y nakaka-stabilize ng mood natin. And 90% of the serotonin po are manufactured in the gut. So it is important that we have gut health also. And they are commonly found in many food sources. Hindi na po natin kailangan paghirapan pa. But one thing uh, remarkable is you could really get a lot of serotonin from your pineapple para mas stabilize po yung mood natin. Another one is dopamine. Dopamine is what you call the reward chemical. So when you do something good, when you're doing to, uh, advocacy such as this, you really have to feel good. And therefore, the sources are your mackerel, your milk, your cheese, yogurt, and even dark chocolates po. And a very good source of dopamine is the banana. The other happy chemical will be your oxytocin and this is what you call the love hormone. Because usually for mothers when they give birth, when they lactate, there's always a feeling of love. And therefore, you could look now at watermelon as a good source of oxytocin and therefore when you like to compare green tea and black tea, it is preferable that we have to have green tea or mamitas lang po tayo ng mga bayabas sa puno na tinanim natin. And the last chemical is the endorphin. It's the natural painkiller. It's a feel-good hormone. Ito po yung experience natin pag nag-work out tayo. And certainly, kung mahilig po kayo sa mga... Yes, yes. Uh, I cannot see it on my screen dahil naka-zoom po tayo, nakatakip ang ating mga muka dun sa yes. slide na yun. I wonder okay. if the, the viewers also on Facebook ganun din kasi on my screen, hindi ko po makita. Eh, yan ang mahalaga. Pakiulit Apa. lang po yung sa kanan po. Ano yung huling sinabi po nyo? I cannot see sa it on my screen. Sa kanan po, eh, serotonin po. Uh, in my screen, so, buo po yung nakikita ko. Po, uh, oxytocin po. Tapos na po ang uh, dopamine yung pangatlo po. Oxytocin po. Ayun. Oxytocin. Kasi nasa uh, uh, kayo na bayabas. Kasi hindi naman yes. sila maaring bumili ng black tea o green tea. Mahi, mahal po uh, yan. 
ano po Apa. sa natural ang pwede pong uh, kapalit ng black tea or green tea? Sinabi nyo, uh, dahon ng bayabas, pakuloan, pwede inumin po yun? Pwede po, pero maganda rin po kung yung fruit talaga ay kakainin natin. Sa ah, napapansin okay. ko, bibihira na nagtatanim ng bayabas. Dati yan eh, nakukuha lang sa mga kapitbahay natin, no? Okay. Yes. But remember, pwede rin po tayo mag tomato, mag kamatis po. Pwede po natin yan. Oh. Okay, And very good. And in the picture, makikita nyo, watermelon is a good source. So, meron po siyang uh, like copin, no? Kagaya po ng tomato. Ang ang watermelon po ay may lycopene. Okay. Uh, Tapos, question lang sa iba, uh, nakikita ba nyo ang presentation uh, ni Ms. Uh, Velasco or gaya ko ang zoom nakatakip sa graphics? I think that's for everybody dahil nakazoom tayo, no? May staff. Uh, what we'll do is, lahat ng pinaghandaan yung graphics na napakahalaga, I'll share na lang po natin. On my Facebook. Sige pa. Yes. Okay. Uh, I will ask my staff, uh, I've been asking them to do this. How is it possible that while doing a Zoom, kita natin ang lahat ng frame at hindi mga mukha natin na kalahati ng frame. Anyway, that's it. Okay. Thank you. And the ah, last one. I, oh, yes. Very good. Um, it's not for everybody. It can be seen on Facebook clearly. Buo. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Pa. Okay. Baka sa screen lang po natin, ma'am. Si yes. Pasual, nag Facebook si Kara. Okay. Orange used to eat a peeling of bananas for weight gain. <laughs> Yun <na. laughs> Continue po. She Continue she remembered po. that. Talagang yes. you were famous for bananas. So yung ika fourth chemical po would be under endorphin po. Ah, uh, ito po mga chemical si to na we release din po ito pag nag workout tayo. Ah, uh, it's a feel good hormone and shampoo. Sabi ko kanina. Yung pagkain po ng uh, red and green pepper, yung sili or anything spicy can really, you know, give, bring out that good feeling. And therefore, uh, all the coffees here as an um, endorphin source, we have to modulate po yung pag-inom ng kape. Hindi po pwedeng six cups a day. More Ilan or less. Ilan cups po ang healthy? Ilan ba yung uh, doable na tama lang na healthy? Two cups a day will be a good ah, okay. one. Okay, na yan. Okay. Kasi Sa yung coffee po, may mga antioxidants rin eh. Opa. Ah, okay. Ano pong mas maganda? Arabica, Robusta? Anong klase pong kape? Or wala okay. bang depresya po? Uh, mas stronger po yung Arabica. So, depends on your preference, especially dun sa flavor, yung aroma. Okay. Okay. So, yun po. Next. Very good. So, oh. next slide. So now, uh, sabi nga natin, ano bang pwedeng kainin? So we're just simply relying on the fruits and vegetables. And studies have shown that 78 servings of fruits and vegetables will act is correlated with happiness. So sabi nga, kumain ka ng prutas at gulay, and this can really contribute to your happiness. Then we're looking at omega-3 fatty acids. Ito po yung nakikita natin saan? Sa tuna, sa mackerel, ang salmon po medyo mahal yan. Okay? And therefore, ang, ang role po ng omega-3 fatty acid for mental health, it reduces po yung tinatawag na neuronal inflammation. Uh, please take note that some uh, psychological disorders would clearly show na talaga may inflammation po dun sa ating mga neurons. And third, we'd like again to connect the gut health to brain health. And this is through the use of probiotics. But there can be many sources of probiotics. And this can come from yogurt. Pwede po sa miso, pwede po sa tente, pwede po sa kimchi, pwede po sa sardo bread, at ibang klase pong keso ay meron rin pong probiotics. Ayun Now, ang mahalaga. Para, apa, kasi mahal din pag pwipili ng mga vitamina. So dapat po apa, yung mga natural na source ng probiotic, e eh kung hindi po niya kayang bumili ng yogurt, ano po yung mga natural na halaman na pwedeng sa probiotics? Ako eh. 
hindi ko po alam yung kung ano yung mga halaman na yun. Ah, pero sa yogurt galing. Okay. That's okay. fine. All Sige right. po. So, and then we go to the right side. Um, it will not help you if you take a lot of sugar. Kasi ang pagkain po ng maraming asukal ay nagre-release po ng stress hormone. Ang stress hormone po nito, ang tawag po dito ay cortisol. Therefore, sabi nga natin, pag kumain kayo ng cake, uh, after a few minutes, you feel good. But after 30 minutes, mag-craft-lactuate to bigla ang inyong uh, blood sugar. And this could also cause yung pagpa-fluctuate ng mood. And therefore, ah, sabi nga natin... Pag-clarify ko po yan. Pag kumain yes. ng matapis, uh, ice cream, o yes. candy, o cake. Simple ay, sugars pa. Simple sugars. Yun siguro. Ang ilista natin, ano yung simple sugar na nakaka-apekto mm. ng anong mood po? Ano mangyari po sa mood ninyo? Magiging irritable ka, magiging depressed ka, Kasi yung mga simple sugar si yung kagaya po ng asukal, yung mga iniinom po natin sa soda natin, di ba? So, in the beginning, medyo good mood tayo. But after 30 minutes taking the food, ba bigla hong babagsak yung ating uh, blood glucose level. And this is now... Yes, okay. Yung mga donuts. Ah, do donuts. Soft drinks, uh, soft drinks, ice yung mga cream, cakes, cake. maraming icing. Meron naman po tayong healthy ice cream. And may mga ice cream brands man po na hindi naman ganun ka, ano, ka concentrated ang sugar. So, bali, i-minimize lang po natin yung sugar intake. But we are not telling you to completely stop sugar. Because people put sugar in the coffee. Di po ba? Gusto mong halo yan. Well, that can be tolerable. Pwede po tayo mag-add ng sugar. But if we keep on a high consumption of sugar, and usually po nakukuha po natin yan sa mga signature coffee natin, without mentioning a brand, you will be surprised to note ang taas-taas pala ng sugar dun sa mga coffee na iniinom po natin. Yung mga flavored coffee po. And certainly, kapareho rin po ng sugar, Iiwasan rin po natin yung mga processed foods. Yung mga nilagyan ng mga preservatives. So we'll go natural. And another point is what you call trans fat po. Yan po ay makikita natin. You know, this is natin. so important. Um, sandali, Ms. Yes. Velasco. Napakahalaga nito. I know you're speeding it up because may time limit in yes. your seven presentations. <laughs> Pero Tama you po. will... Yes, no. You will... Uh, this is so important. Uh, you will lend us your art cards to post it on Facebook. Tapos po, ang hihiling ko po sa inyo, yung processed food, uh, let us define it and set examples without giving yes. brands. Para yes, po ma-identify yes. ng tao na, ah, ito pala ay hindi mabuti. Ah, ito pala ay mabuti. Ganon. We will uh, give examples for each without putting naman Tama brand. Po. Tama po. We yes. cannot okay. mention the brand. Usually yes. po, ito po yung mga delata, yung talagang uh, halos wala na po yung nutrients niya, kaya highly processed food po siya. At meron rin po tayong tinatawag na trans fat po, na makikita natin sa donuts, mga biscuits, sa mga cooking oil na hindi po healthy. So meron po kami tinatawag uh, hydrogenated oil. It is a process na dinagdagan yung uh, hydrogen para maging liquid siya. Kasi usually solid po yung fat na yan. So, ano po yung diferensya ng simple sugar na sinabi nyo at saka trans fat? Okay. Ang simple sugar po ay carbohydrates. Ang trans fat po ay isang klase po ng fat. So, iba. Isa. Pag, oh, iba po. Uh, isa sa pagnag-uusapan okay. po natin, isa po ay carbohydrate, isa po ay fat. Ito po trans fat, yan po ay nakakataas ng cholesterol. Maari rin po humina ang ating puso pag palagi tayong kumakain po ng trans fat. Ano po mga example po ng trans fat without naming the brands of food? Okay, kagaya po ng sinabi ko, yung mga biscuit po, yung mga pizza, meron din po siya. Yung mga... 
donuts. Opa. Naku. Meron din po siya. Ano ba yun? Masasarap. <laughs> Po, Hindi po. Uh, sa, uh, no, sa, sa, sa amin, po. okay. Sa amin naman Lahat po. Lahat ng no. pizza ay trans fat? Hindi naman, ma'am. Depende po sa pizza. Kasi meron rin po tayo mga vegetarian pizza. I see. Yun. Okay. Usually po, ito yung uh, tinatawag natin frozen pizza. Yung mga nabibili natin sa grocery. Uh -huh. Tapos lulutuin na lang po natin sa bahay. This may contain trans fat po. Paano po natin malalaman kung yung ating binibili o kinakain ay may trans fat? Yan ba ay naka-indicate sa kanilang information sa packaging? Napakalaga po yung ating nutrition labeling. Mm. And usually, pag mga American food items po ito, talagang mandatory po ang paglalagay ng trans fat in the food yes, label. Ating, sa Pilipinas, wala so, pa ba? Ganon? Wala pa po, and there is now... Ano, iba may batas na po natin. I'll check that. Trans fat uh, po? Yes, okay. hindi pa po nakalagay kung um, nakalabel po yun. Di ba dapat nakalabel? Dapat po part of uh, nutrition labeling po. But uh, I don't know yet with the Filipino manufacturers kung um, yung trans fat po is also within. In okay. fact, May ginagamit po tayong produkto tuwing breakfast. Yan po yung ating mga creamer, coffee creamer po. I made yes. trans fat din po. Ah, ang mga creamer? Yes po. Yes Ako po. Ako ginagamit ko ay uh, soy milk or almond milk. Does oh, that have good. No, no. Natural pong, po yan. Am I seen on screen? Ito pong iniinom ko ay uh, luyang dilaw. Yan, hindi makita sa loob. Luyang mm -hmm. dilaw po na organic na ako po ang nagtanim. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay Napaka, napakaganda ng uh, luyang dilaw because nakakataas po siya ng serotonin. Ano yung po yung serotonin? nabanggit ko. Okay, okay. Yung serotonin po, yun po yung kaninang sinabi ko, yung feel good. Uh, it's Kaya pala ako pala yung feel good. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ang <laughs> oh, serotonin oh, energy, na no? good. Uh, feel ah. good. Okay, yun, yun po. Nakaka-relax po siya, nakaka-stabilize ang mood. So siguro yung mga iba dyan, na mga ating kababayan na medyo very moody, irritable dahil nga sa pandemia, uminom po kayo ng ano, tsaa, na ginger tea. Yan, madali lang po i-prepare yan. Clarify ko po, yung yes. ginger na luyang puti, Yan ba ho ay mahusay din? O itong iniinom ko na tinanim kong luyang dilaw, turmeric? Mas, ano po? Mas Oo. maganda po yung luyang dilaw. O sige. Napakadali oh. magtanim. Ano po? Bitilo, <laughs> nandyan ka ba? Nagbigay po ako sa coco pot ng luyang dilaw at itatanim lang niya. Nakatanim na po. Yan. Ang luyang dilaw, mm -hmm. ang dali-dali. Hindi alagain. O sige. Rina-warning nga na po. Okay. Dali -dali raw, marami pa tayo. <laughs> next okay. slide. Next slide oh, po. Next slide. Yeah. Okay. So, ito po yung aking um, contact number, whether it's FB, sa NDAP, sa Yahoo. Meron po akong clinic sa Ortiga Center. It's the Nutrition and Emotional Wellness Center. Pwede po tayo mag-chat, pwede kayo mag-PM if, uh, if there is a way to help you. So, we're opening the doors sa uh, mga kababayan po natin na uh, naapektuhan masyado ng pandemya when it comes to stress. So, maraming salamat po. Nako, I will get your cell phone and imagine magkakilala po tayo nung 1970s. <laughs> 78. Ako pa ay 78. Nung ako ay nagpapataba. Pwede ba nyo kung turuan magpapayat ngayon? <laughs> anyway, yeah, nandiyan si Virgit. <laughs> Ayan, Virgit at saka kayo po. Uh, what we'll do is, uh, yung binigay po yung slide, napakaganda. Kaya lang kulang ang panahon. So, um, you will also put, if I may request you, this is public yes. service, kung Papa. anong mga pagkain ang mga nagpo-promote ng serotonin, ang mga nakakakos ng depression, without naming the brand, pwede na talagay yung mga processed food. Kasi hindi lahat nakakaintindi. Yes. Ano, ba Tama po. ano ba yung trans fat? Eh, kung ako, hindi ako, minsan hindi sigurado eh. Uh, uh -huh. Yung mga binibili. So, iligay po natin and then uh, we will post it on the Facebook of everyone present. Sige here pa, that would be good. 
Very okay. good. So, yes. uh, I'm checking now with my with my um, staff because no one's answering. Ano po ang ating batas? Can can my staff on the thread please answer me? Ano po yung ating law on labels? Because on nutrition I labeling. Mm -hmm. Yes, or uh, nutrition labeling. Uh, can someone answer Lalo na me? Po yung trans fat. Tala, uh, Tala and Cherie, uh, I'm texting you like 10 minutes ago. Can you answer, please? Okay. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. What is the law on labeling? And I cannot believe that we do not put um, these uh, labels because it is our duty. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, it is the duty of the manufacturers mm -hmm. Um, to put what are we put it into our mouth and our stomachs, right? Okay, so I'll get back to you when my staff answers. Thank you, ma'am. We don't know the answer, so we proceed now. Thank you so much, but I will see you later. Don't leave, please. Okay, okay. thank you, Pa. Hi, Miss Bridget, you're with us. Okay, please continue to give us tips on healthy living. Ano ba ang ating mga uh, healthy food choices? Ngayon, pandemic and in the better normal. Miss Bridget Buena. Okay. Uh, good morning again, Deputy Speaker Lauren. Uh, <clears throat> before I before I um, go to my slide, uh, I would like to um, tell our audience that July is the nutrition month. Well, our tama, tama our uh, yeah, show no. now is very um it's timely that we have this this uh, episode because it's nutrition month now i'd like also to thank miss seni for the very comprehensive discussion of uh, uh the food for mental health now i <clears throat> excuse me um i was told by miss beth that i would only have seven slides and i had to limit and uh, of course, I had to make sure na yung aking ituturo at i-discuss ko ngayon ay talagang importante at medyo mabilis. So ang unang slide ko po, ang aking nakalagay ay Tinggam Pinoy, Healthy Food Plate for Filipino Adults. Now as you can see, ang Tinggam ay divided into four. Ang una is grow, yun ang protein. So is da, karne, um, chicken and then sa baba yung go foods these are composed of the rice the bread root crops uh, pasta and then on the other half we have the glow foods which is composed of the vegetables and the fruits if you look at the plate mas malaki ho ang, ang uh, share ng vegetables so, kailangan po na kumpleto ho ang kain. Now, ang gulay, <clears throat> I always recommend fruits and vegetables to be eaten ahead of the meal. Why? Kasi pag kinain mong una at saka ang rutas at gulay, ay medyo busog ka na. So, hindi mo na kailangan maraming kainin ng ulam at saka yung kanin. Now, <clears throat> uh, another slide please. So, ang na-mention ko po kanina <clears throat> ay yung uh, food plate. Now, it is very important that we mention also water. Kadalasan po, ang problema ng tao ay kulang sa tubig. Now, we recommend 7 to 8 glasses of water every day. Ang coffee ho, hindi ho counted sa fluids. Because it is, it makes you pee. Nadi dehydrate ho tayo. So hindi namin po binibilang. So what we can do is like if we have uh, seven or eight, two glasses per meal before the meals, one in between. So six plus two is eight. Now, I'd like to mention also that our body is composed of 60 to 70 percent water so you can just imagine with the with the climate and it's so hot pag dehydrated ka pwede bumagsak ang ang bp mo pwede kang ma, matumba maraming maraming bagay and that only that because the brain really needs much water 
So the brain nag para siyang nag ano nag shrink pag dehydrated po tayo. Now <clears throat> I have on the side Please go back to the other to the slide. Ayan. So I I purposely um, put here the chart for the urine. Kasi hindi ho tayo masyadong conscious sa ating inu, iniinom na tubig. Now, dito sa ibaba, yung clear. So ibig sabihin, pag ganyan ang kulay, hydrated ka. Tama yan. You drink mga 7 to 8 glasses. Tapos like yellow, almost fully hydrated. But you have to continue to drink water throughout the day. Yellow, moderately dehydrated. Bright yellow, you are dehydrated. And dark yellow, severely dehydrated. Now, minsan ho, <clears throat> pag tayo ho ay umiinom ng, if we take the vitamin C capsule, the color of the urine also is darkened. So we have to make sure that the urine is not dark in color because of the caffeine or sugary drinks and alcohol. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ibig nyo sabihan, pag umiinom po ng vitamin C, nagiging dark yellow ang urine. Mayroon ho, mga, may mga vitamin so na nagkakaroon ng kulay ang urine. So, masama so po, ibig sabihan, masama po yung vitamins na yon. Ma'am, hindi ho. Hindi ho. Uh, I'm just saying that we do not uh, interpret it na we are dehydrated. Pag uh, kunyari, nasa bright yellow, but because we took in um, uh, vitamin or medicine na nagkakaroon ng kulay, ang e. additional I color. See. Okay. Uh, uh. So, this one, it can be placed in the, in the uh, what's this? Sa Facebook po. This is very important for guidance of our uh, listeners. Because I'm sure all of us drink <clears throat> vitamin C. So yes, po. especially uh, now, especially yeah, so now our, because of the so COVID. Our urine is not clear or light yellow; it's color yellow, uh, and you would attribute that dahil naga vitamin C. Apo. Now, as so, isa pa po, isa pa po before I forget. Yes. Uh, we have to consider consider the smell of the urine. Simply, pag mapanghe, big sabihin kulang ka sa tubig. And that's really a time for us to drink more water. Now, especially for the, for the elderly, medyo bawas tayo sa gabi. Kasi kung hindi tayo magpabawas sa gabi, we drink the, the allowance for water during the daytime para hindi tayo gising ng gising sa gabi. Because like we will be lacking in sleep. And sleep is very important for our immune system. Now, <clears throat> Especially now for this pandemic, we have to make sure that we are taking vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc. These are very important. Uh, ang bagaling vitamins. ang zinc. Ang una, ano po yung mga natural na pagkain? Yan, binanggit nyo, maganda. Vitamin Opo. C, ano po ang mga pagkain, prutas, gulay na vitamin C? Pangalawa po, sabi nyo, D, Ano yung Apa. natural na di? Alam ko lang, maglublub sa araw, mag Apa. sa ilalim ng Apa. araw. Kaya Apa. dapat ang ating webinar ay sa ilalim ng araw, hindi nakakulong <laughs> sa kwarto. <laughs> okay. Pangatlo okay. po, ano po yung zinc? Ayan. C, okay. D, zinc. Okay. Yung vitamin C, ang pinakamataas na vitamin C sa mga local fruits natin is guava. You get your requirement for the day. Now, ang ang sinasabi nga po dahil sa pandemic na if you are exposed you take vitamin C in the morning take probably lunch time and then in the evening wag kong pagsabay-sabay pag sinabay-sabay mo lahat papasok sa iyo iiihi mo lang yung sobra that's that's the that's the uh, problem with vitamin C hindi ho na hindi ho siya na na store sa body so, ang, ang sinasabi ko naman tungkol ho sa uh, vitamin D, it's very important that we expose ourselves to sunlight. Pero ano ho, yung, <clears throat> araw? What time of the day? Usually mga 6.30 to 7, 7.30. Ang alas gis po <clears throat> ng um, araw, mainit na po yun? Is mainit na. O masama po yun? Uh, okay lang naman, pero kasi ang problema nun, alam mo naman, ang 
tayo ay nag-iingat na wag umitim. Eh, kaya nga ho, yung iba naglalagay pa ng sunblock. But if you put sunblock, hindi ho papasok sa yung vitamin D. Vitamin D is very, very important. Uh, kaya nga po, sa, sa countries where, where we have the four seasons, when it's winter time, a lot of these people become depressed. And that's because of lack of vitamin D. Ah, so i-clarify po natin. <clears throat> Kailangan po tayo pumunta sa ilalim ng araw Apa. at huwag po maglagay ng sunblock Apa. at ang ideal na oras po ay Maga. Sa ng umaga. O, oh, yung, may, yung mayroon, mayroon ng araw, pero hindi naman okay. kailangan na talagang uh, magbabad ka. Because like, okay. you don't really Ito need po, that. Tanghaling tapat. Kailang, uh, ang, ang araw baho ng alas 7 ng umaga at ang tanghaling tapat ay pareho po ang, ang uh, beneficyo sa ating balat at katawan o hindi po? Hindi po. Pero ang pagtanghali, kasi siyempre mainit, mas maikli dapat. Pero ang importante doon, naaarawan talaga. Kasi okay. ang, <clears throat> ang importante, medyo nakakaramdam tayo ng init sa ating balat. Kasi okay. pag hindi, uh, wala, may medyo kulang. But Ilang vitamin D... sa isang araw ang dapat nakabilad sa araw? Ay, mga 20 minutes lang po. 20 Sige. minutes lang. Doesn't Kaya have to be that long. Kaya po ang mga malulusog. Malalakas ang katawan ng mga magsasaka. Hindi ba? Ay, opo. Opo. Oo. Okay. Kaya so, nga, in my, in my private practice, I usually ask my, my clients, my patients, if they are exposed to the sun. Kasi, yung iba ho, hindi ho nila naiintindihan. Siyempre, nag-ayaw, ayaw mag, magbabad sa araw. Kasi, iitim or what. Mag so, pag sinabi sa akin, oh, opo. Pag sinabi okay. sa akin na hindi sila na-expose, I usually recommend for a test in vitamin D. But there are two tests. One is qualitative and the other is quantitative. The qualitative test would only say you are deficient or your vitamin D is normal. Hindi po namin gusto yon. Mas Ako mas gusto ko yung qualitative. It will indicate the number. So alam okay. ko, kunyari, pag sinabi, ang normal value doon sa lab laboratory is 70 to 90. Eh pag pumalo, pang, ang resulta niya is bumaba siya ng 35. Ay, laki noon. I would know how much to uh, to uh, prescribe. For example, sabihin ko, okay, magpaaraw ka. Pero pag hindi pwede, umaalis ng bahay ang aga-aga, dadating sa bahay, gabing-gabi na, o sige, hindi siya naarawan, hindi lumalabas. Nasa opisina lang. Ito ako, kung ang taong hindi naaarawan ay umiinom naman ng vitamin D supplements, okay na ay, po okay, yun? Okay, okay po. Okay po. Okay. But of course, okay it's always better natural. to have the natural, uh, what's this, yung sunlight. O sige po. At saka yung wala ka pang gastos. Yung, okay, yung sinasabi po yung zinc, ano pong gulay at pagkain ang uh, zinc? Ang zinc ko, ang pinakamataas niyan is yung, yung oyster. Eh, kay, marami ho siyang pagkain, marami ho siyang pagkain. Hindi ko lang matandaan ngayon. Okay, ang maraming okay. ano, maraming uh, pagkain na nakukuha siya kasi pag ang kinain natin ay balanse, eh, nakukuha natin halos lahat doon yung mga kailangan ng katawan. So oysters, so, ano po po ang ibang source ng zinc? Uh, at the moment, medyo ano ako. Uh, I, what I can do is I can give a list so that it can be placed in the in the, uh, oh, sige. Very in good. the website. Okay. okay, patuloy po. May tanong po ito, uh, si Kara, <coughs> tinexa po. Kung sinabi nyo, ang ihi ay dilaw pag nag-vitamin C, ibig sabihin ba ang vitamin C ay may food coloring? Uh, kasi kunsan, ang ginagawa nila, may, may kulay. Because like usually, like ako, yung may nakikita ako na vitamin C is orange flavor. May flavor siya. Siyempre, pag orange flavor, orange din ang kulay. So, pag nagpika, ay eh, makikita mo rin. Medyo darker. A little bit darker. But the best thing for us to do is, like, especially if you're trying to count your your uh, fluid uh, for the whole day, especially for those who are who are restricted with fluids, what they have to do is ilagay sa isang pitsel yung kailangan nilang maghapon at doon sila kumuha. 
para nalalaman niya kung ilan baso or talagang i-measure mo. You measure okay. your fluids for the day. Uh, just so that everybody knows, meron na po tayong batas. Um, Ms. Zenaida Velasco and uh, Ms. Bridget Buena and all our guests and our viewers. Republic <coughs> Act 10611. At kasama po sa ating food, uh, food safety requirements ay the information to the consumer. This okay. includes information on the label yes, pa. or any information <coughs> generally available to the consumer. This should help consumers in avoiding specific health effects from a particular food or category of foods. Labels should identify components, ingredients, attributes, directions for use, specifications, and other information as required by law. Ayan, maliwanag eh. Apa. Ito po an act to strengthen the food safety regulatory system in the country to protect consumer health and facilitate market access of local foods Apa. and food products, etc. Food Safety Act of 2013. I think I was author of that, co-author of that mm -hmm. also. So, importante po. Okay, uh, proceed po, Ms. Uh, Virgin. Okay. Uh, so I, I'll be discussing. I have my my slide on food labeling. I purposely yes. uh, uh, put it there because it's very very important. Dahil ho, dapat ho yung ating mga kababayan ay naintindihan nila ho paano ang pagbasa niyan. Paano ang gagawin mo? Now, um, ang isa pong gusto kong i-suggest po, ayan, ayan na pala, oh. <clears throat> how to read a nutrition facts label. Okay. So, nakalagay dito, may nutrition facts tayo. Ang unang-una, we have the serving size. <clears throat> nakalagay dyan, one cup. Servings per container is two. So, ibig sabihin, kunyari, yung iba na kumakain ng yung nasa, yung nasa uh, packet, nakalagay servings per container is two. Pag inubos mo, lahat yung mga items dyan sa baba ay will be times two will be times two because you consume everything. Ang nakalagay lang kasi serving size is one cup. Now, it, number two is you have to check the calories. 250. Nakalagay dito. Unang-una, fat. Fat is 12 grams. Nakaano pa siya? Na saturated fat, trans fat, nakalagay, cholesterol, nakalagay, sodium, nakalagay, total carbs, dietary fiber, sugar, and protein. Now, if you want to know how many tablespoons of fat and sugar is in that one cup of ito nakalagay dito macaroni and cheese, what you do, you divide 12, the, the total fat, 12 grams, the number of grams, whether it's fat or sugar, you divide by five because one teaspoon is five grams. So this would mean the total fat would be uh, almost two and a half teaspoons ang fat and then the, the sugar is one teaspoon. Madami ho yan. <clears throat> ang total carb, ang one exchange sa ginagamit ko ho, I, I use 15 grams. Because what I did, I merged the Filipino and the US uh, exchange list. Because I have clients also who are not only here from the Philippines. So, ang isang nakalagay dito, which is very important, is sodium. Yan ho ang dapat tingnan ng ating mga kababayan. What we consider as low sodium is below 140 milligram sodium. So, you can see the sodium there is 470 milligrams. Ang taas po niya. Ang isang pasyente na hypertensive, usually sasabihin ng doktor, okay, ang sodium mo is only 2 grams. 2 grams is 2,000 milligrams. Now, pag inano muna yung sodium ng isang cup ng macaroni and cheese, ay 470 na. Ay tapos kung kunwari, sa umaga, kakain ng dilata, mag maalat pa magluto, okay, sa maghapon, yung 2,000 milligrams or 2 grams of sodium, sobra-sobra ka na. So, ang sodium po <clears throat> ay nakakadulot ng high blood pressure. Opo, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Pag sobra po. Sobra. 
Kasi hindi rin, rin ho- naman mababa ang sodium. Pag mababa ang sodium, Tata, hindi ba parang sabi. nauupos ka naman pag kulang Aba, ng salt? Oh, oh. That's why it's very important for patients, especially the elderly, to have their their lab test included ang sodium at saka potassium. Ang sodium kasi, pag bumaba, ang magiging epekto sa katawan para kang disoriented. So how do you know? May <coughs> naman po tayo nakaka-blood test araw-araw, linggo-linggo, buwan-buwan. Po. Ano natin alam na ang ating kinakain ay sapat lang sa sodium at hindi uh, kulang o hindi sobra po? Ang importante lang po, bawasan ho natin yung mga processed foods. So, pag sinasabi po natin process na sa lata o na sa bote. Or na sa sachet. O na sa sachet. Ibig okay. sabihin po ay mas maganda kung galing sa gulay na ating tinatanim o galing po sa presko, sa grocery Opa. o parengke na mga pagkain at hindi po mga nakapak. Opo. Example, ang, uh, ang isang sachet ng instant noodles. Kuminsan hindi na ho nila linalagay kasi kami ho, we don't stop educating the public whenever we have the chance. Ang isang sachet would be 1,500 milligram sodium. Usually. Napakasama. Napakasama <coughs> po. Ah, hindi, pero, ang ibig sabihin, isang pack lang ng instant opa, noodle, 1,500. Usually, usually po. Opa. So usually hindi na inailalagay yan. Bakit yun po ang pinamimigay ng gobyerno sa mga bagyo, sa COVID, mga food pack, puro de lata, de sachet, at de uh, process. Binibigyan po natin oh, well. ng masama ang ating mga tao. Kailangan ang binibigay <coughs> ang mga gulay na tinanim. Hindi ba ho? Hindi, pero, pero pag, ma'am, pag may bagyo, wala tayo makuha bastang gulay. Eh. Oo. Pero ang Ayun importante na, doon, oh. kasi ang, ang sachet naman, kunyari, instant noodles, mayroon na kahiwala yung sachet ng pampalasa. Either lagyan mo lang ng kaunti, huwag mong ubusin para okay. makabawas ka. Malaking bagay. Malaking bagay po yun. Now, <clears throat> at saka ang ano doon, like, don't start in the morning with processed food. Now, pag merienda mo yung, yung ganyan, yung mga naka, naka-package na mga pagkain, ay talagang maghapon ang, ang sodium content ng diet mo ay talagang sobra-sobra. Okay, Now, if you are taking... Yes. Yes. Okay. If you are taking medications for hypertension, hindi ka maaalis doon. So the first thing that a nutritionist dietitian would do is we include in our computation the number of sodium that will be given to the patient. Binibigyan po namin, hindi ho wala kasi hindi rin po pwedeng wala. Hindi rin lang ho sobra. Okay, proceed po. Nako, so, I'm being warned, 11.15 and we have uh, seven more speakers. Okay, sorry apa, apa. I talked long. Very good. Factors that affect okay. global warming. Okay. 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 So the factors that affect global warming and environmental degradation. I had to include this because, like our, you are with the uh, climate change now. So switching plant-based diet. Okay. Switching to a plant-based diet tend to have a smaller envir- environmental footprint. So the carbon dioxide ho hindi ho masyadong mataas hindi katulad pag sobrang ulam yung karne to it can reduce as much as 70% greenhouse gas emissions and also the land use water consumption can be lessened by 50% reducing animal products in your diet and purchasing local sustainable produce helps drive the local economy and reduces reliance on animal products Very now good. we go back to having our own garden. Ako po, may sarili po akong I have my garden. I'd like to share this with the audience. Ang ano ho, the, from the seed of okra up to yung naha-harvest, only two months nagha-harvest ka na. O, pakita po natin. Meron kayong picture. Patigin po. Hindi, may letrato po kayo. Hindi ko ho. Na, I, can show, I, can, I can send it, but I was trying to... Uh, send it kangina, nag problema ho ako sa aking internet. Oh, sige, that's access. okay. Sige po. Apa. Maybe we can also develop menus. Ayan, nandyan ang culinary at slow food movement. We Apa. can develop plant-based <clears throat> menus. Kasi pag pinag-uusapan natin, puro konsepto. 
So what we can do is share all your art cards on Facebook and we will develop uh, menus on uh, what we can grow uh, just from the seed. Um, yeah, kasama natin Global Seed Savers last week. Itatanim natin. In two months, we harvest. Then we can develop menus on a plant-based diet. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Um, uh, 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 po. I, what I have, I, I do edible landscape. So I have my fruit trees ako, my vegetable garden ako. Kapirangot lang ang lupa, pero nakakakuha ako ng aking makakain doon. Ah, importante po, mas kina napakaliit ng lupa, mas kina walang lupa. Kaya sana meron kayong Apa. pictures, but if you don't have it now, you can share it with us and we can put it on yes, our Facebook that um, even a small area can actually Apa. have that. So, Kasi I had to limit my slides po. Anyway, what is a whole food plant-based diet? It is not necessarily a set diet, it's more of a lifestyle. So we emphasize whole, minimally processed food. We limit yeah. or avoid animal products. We focus on vegetables, fruits, whole grains, legumes, seeds, and nuts. We exclude refined foods like added sugar, whole flour, wheat flour, and processed oils. So, yung po, 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 a question po, kung hindi po mahusay ang sugar, ano po ang pangpatami sa kape? Mayroon ho tayong, ano, we have this, um, we have the cocoa sugar, which is cocoa different sugar is actually. Okay. It, it's okay. For the diabetic patient, usually hindi ho siya tumataas ang blood sugar because the glycemic index is not high. Ah, cocoa Baba sugar lang po is siya. Okay. There is also stevia, which is coming from plant. Ah, so ang stevia na, yeah, I, I plant stevia. How Aba. about muscovado sugar? Is muscovado sugar... Um, harmful it's cane to sugar. Um, uh, in, uh, oh, medyo, mas maganda ho ang cocoa sugar. Now, okay. there is a plant which we call miracle fruit. It's like uh, it's like uh, the tip of the and uh, what's this? Yung pinkery, uh, yung small finger. When you take that, before you take something na maasim, yung kinain mo matamis. In Taiwan, okay. they already developed that into tablets coming from the fruit sugar. Ano pong pangalan ng prutas? Miracle fruit? Miracle fruit po. Okay. Nabibili po siya sa, sa garden. Opo. Sige. I have also ah, that plant. Opo. Ah, meron kayo. Okay. Meron po ako, ma'am. Maybe I have. Um, since we have a many minutes yet and there are other presentations, you can ask someone to take a picture and you can show us later or you can... Yes, pa. Yes, pa. Yes, we, will, we will get that miracle plan. So, ang yes, plant-based diet, um, dapat walang processed food, dapat ilimit natin ang uh, animal products at focus tayo sa ating mga organic na pagtanim ng gulay, ng prutas, at ng mga uh, seeds na ating sinesave at nuts at wala tayo mga refined foods. Okay, walang mga processed foods. Sige. Hanggat maaari. Okay, yes, ho. maraming salamat. Much. Yeah. And uh, stay with us, please, because there are questions. So yes. it says here, we eat better, not less. Now we proceed um, to the College of Home Economics. Uh, Professor Lucci, uh, can, are you with us? Okay. Yes. Paano po yes. tayo yes. makadevelop? Yan, ang ganda. Dalawang ekspertong nutritionist ang nagbigay sa atin ng kanilang very enlightening uh, expertise kung paano magbago ang ating pananaw sa buhay kundi pa nagbabago. Ngayon, kayo po ang magtuturo sa atin. Paano ba tayo gumawa ng simpleng menu na hindi mahal na plant-based diet? Ayun. Paano how in short, how do households develop their own menu based on what the two experts have said? Ano ba ang guide dito? And how can parents help their children? To eat healthy, so they will grow up um, knowing or making healthy food choices. How can we instill good eating habits instead of consuming junk or fast food? Yeah, it's a loaded question. Uh, College of Home Economics, you would know what to do, Professor. Thank you very much, Pa, and magandang tanghali sa inyong lahat. Okay, so we'll start uh, immediately, no? And can we go to the next slide, please? Okay, so ang sabi po ni um, Senator Lauren, uh, plant-based, yung ginawa po namin ay hindi 
necessarily plant-based po. Ang ginawa po namin, ito ay balance. No? It is balanced, uh, valid, and uh, hopefully moderate in terms of uh, amount. Okay? So, ito po ay galing sa isang uh, gumawa po kami ng Facebook page. So, hindi ko na po kailangan i-upload. Kung kayo po ay pumunta doon sa aming Facebook page, makikita niyo po itong lahat na akin isi-share. Ang pangalan po ng Facebook page ay Padayon ND. No? So, i-press nyo lang Padayon ND. Lalabas po itong lahat and more. Kasi nga po, uh, hindi ko rin uh, pwedeng i-share lahat kasi I am under time constraint. So, ito po, uh, gumawa po kami, uh, nangyari po yung lockdown ng March 15. And we were nasa kalagitnaan po kami ng amin semester. So, nawindang ang amin pagtuturo. Pero, after several days, no, sabi namin, we, we can do something. We can do something for, for, at first, we were just thinking about the UP community. But then, no, it, uh, it rolled, no, it just uh, gained momentum through the week that we have been on. And ngayon po, we are reaching uh, the provinces. Okay? Kasi po, because of technology, anyone can access this um, website, okay, or, or this page. So ito po, ang unang uh, ipapakita ko, mga masustansyang recipes para sa isang linggo. Kasi ang napansin po namin, isang karaniwang problema na mga homemakers, yung mga tinatawag natin na mga gates, no? uh, the gates of the family, so, ang paano gumawa ng isang menu. Lalo nang sa yun, andito lahat sa bahay. No? Walang nakakalabas na andito lahat sa bahay. Very varied ang mga uh, ano nila, kagustuhan. So ito po ang one week cycle menu. Tapos ang ginawa po namin, linagyan po namin ng mga recipe. Dito po ako humingi ng tulong sa aking mga estudyante. No? Uh, kasi nga, no, na tigil sa kalagitnaan. So, uh, ang mga students po namin na naka-enroll sa iba't ibang mga uh, courses, nag-join forces para tumulong sa amin. Next slide, please. Okay, so, eto po, Lunes, Martes, Merkulis, Huwede. Kung makikita po ninyo, ito po ay naka-Tagalog, uh, no? Kung kailan pwede. Pero, uh, hindi po nga plant-based talaga. Tapos meron po kami yung sinasabi kanina ni Ma'am Burgess at saka ni Ma'am Zeni na canned goods. Kasi hindi po, po, wala po talagang magawa. Ah, kasi yun ang ayuda ng gobyerno. Pero ang ginawa po namin, imbis na buksan lang ninyo yung lata o kaya tanggalin lang ninyo sa pakete yung mga noodles, ang ginawa po namin, ginigyan namin ng mga suggestion. Ang mga na, nanunood, na, nagbabasa nito, para paano po gawing mas masustansya itong mga lata na ito. Tama po yung sinabi kanina ni Ma'am Burgess, uh, doon sa mga recipes na pinost namin, pagdating po sa mga noodles, tinatanggal namin, sinasabi po namin, huwag nang isama yung mga pakete ng flavoring para hindi nga tumaas ang uh, sodium content ng linuguto. Okay, so ito po hanggang webet lang. Next slide please. Meron pa ho ito hanggang linggo. No? And ito po ay unang-unang pinadalabas namin na cycle menu. Meron pa hong dadating na pangalawa. Yung pangalawa po, magkakaroon na po ng uh, nutrition calculation at saka costing para makita po ng mga uh, uh, na, 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 uh, ano dito, nagbabasin ito, kung ano ang makikita nila. And again, I would like to mention na ang mga estudyante po namin, of course, with the faculty's um, uh, guidance no? as uh, they, they go about their calculations. Next slide, please. And then, parang ayan. Naman, so, parang okay. naman pang menu, ang aking menu ang ginagawa nyo. Pero sa akin, Kasi bawal po. kasi ang baboy. Uh -oh. Ayun nga po. This, this is a for normal, healthy individual. Okay. So, yun. So, uh, kasi ang, ang susunod nga po na cycle menu, andoon na, ang naandito lang po kasi kung ano ang mga sustansya 
na taglay ng mga ingredients, yung susunod po na cycle na i-upload namin, magkakaroon na po ng calculations for nutrients and for cost. So, meron din po kami linalagay dito. Kasi nga, uh, minsan like you, sabi ninyo, bawal sa inyo ang baboy, pwede naman pong i-substitute no? yung mga ingredients that you want to remove. Okay, so ang ang gagawin ko next week, papakita ko yung mga letrato ng aking mga kinakain. Sige, papakita ko sa College of Home Economics yung aking uh, alokbati o maski yung aking um, sa umaga, ano lang, saluyot lang. Yeah! Uh, at saka, saluyot lang at saka malunggay. Oo. Oo. At saka ayun, ayun. bulaklak ng... Um, uh, yung, yung uh, violet flower, blue turn natin. Di ba, Lay? Sige po. Yung lumpia po. po. <laughs> lumpiang hubad nyo, masarap. Lumpiang hubad. O sige. Opo, ayan. Lumpiang hubad. No? So, meron lang po kami pinili na isang dosenang uh, ay ano to, mga, mga uh, pagkain na naandoon sa menu na binigyan namin ng recipe. Just in case hindi marunong yung nagbabasa pagluto. Okay, next slide please. Okay. Ngayon po, no? <laughs> hindi lang po iyon ang ginawa namin. Marami po kaming infographics na in-upload sa aming Facebook page. Nasa number, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, nasa number 8 na kami, no? Ipas ibang klase yan. Ito po na, ano, na ginawa namin ay uh, napansin po nga kasi namin meron mga release goods na dumadating, no? Dumadating galing sa gobyerno, inaayuda para sa mga uh, families na nangangailangan. And sabi namin, kailangan natin i-level up itong mga release goods na ito. So, uh, ako po yun nag-test ng mga recipe. So, uh, si Chef, hindi ko alam kung papasa ako sa kanya. Hindi po ako Chef. Ako po ay isang foodie lamang. Pero, ito po ay tested. Meron po ako mga taste testers, no? Kasi yung ginawa ko po itong mga recipes na ito, nandito ako sa condo namin, so pinamigay ko sa akin mga security guards sa baba, ano, at sa, sa mga iba pang mga dito sa condo. At mag, masarap naman ang kanilang sabo. Kagaya ng uh, sinabi ko kanina, kapag halimbawa con noodles, sasabihin na po namin, huwag isama yung pakete ng seasoning para hindi ma, ma, maging uh, mataas ang sodium. Tapos po, ang uh, sa dulo, palagi po linalagay uh, kapag kayo ay nagko-control, da dahil po mataas na po talaga sadya ang mga uh, recipe sa ito sa sodium, huwag ito araw-arawin. Yun po napaka-importante para sa amin. Next slide please. Ayan. So, pay part 2 na kami. No? Ang nangyari po kasi, humingi kami kung ano ang mga usual na natatanggap ninyo. Ito po, uh, hindi ko ipapakita yung brand name, pero nakakita ako ng isang ayuda na squid. No? Squid. So, anong gagawin mo sa squid? So, nakaisip po ako, ito, linagay ko sa munggo. No? Ginis ako yung munggo. And then, instead of putting in uh, baboy or karne, ang linagay ko po ay pusit. No? Tapos, uh, hindi ko yata mawawala sa mga ayuda yung sardinas so na andito po ginata ang sardinas. Kaya isang point po tungkol sa noodles, kung titignan po ninyo ang instruction sa likod ng noodles, ng pakete ng noodles, na andun po sa huling-huli para sa mas masustansyang pagkain or dish, lagyan po ninyo ito ng gulay. Karamihan po na mga gumagamit ng noodles, hindi na po umaabot sa instruction na yun, no? pagka na, uh, naluto na nila yung noodles, okay na, kakainin na nila. When in fact, ang noodles, hindi necessarily ang bida ng pagkain. Pwedeng isasama na lang yung noodles sa mga gulay-gulay uh, na ilalagay ninyo. Meron din pong meatloaf, no? Uh, ito po yung nakaraniwan na ano, kapag medyo hindi ko alam kung anong uh, uh, LGU ang nagbigay ng meatloaf, pero meron pong nakatanggap ng meatloaf. So, Sinagot po namin yon gumawa ako ng pinakbet at meatloaf. Okay? Next slide, please. So, kung titignan po ninyo, no, ito po nasa itaas. Nandaan po yung aming Facebook page. Padayon and di hanapin lang ninyo. Next, uh, next slide. Meron ito sa sabi. Okay? So, ito naman po, 
Ngayon na may COVID-19, ang unang-unang hiningi ay paano natin i-increase ang atin uh, ano no, uh, resistance, no? yung resistensya natin, kailangan natin i-increase. So meron po kami in-upload na infographics na ibinigay po namin dito yung mga ibang sinabi ni Ma'am Virgit at saka ni Ma'am Zeni na mga nutrients na kailangan natin at naandito na rin po kung ano ang mga sources. So, uh, kanina sinabi nga ni Ma'am uh, Virgit na ang zinc, no? Kasi ito yung mga hindi masyadong nakikilala ng mga tao. Ang alam lang yun sa mga tao na nutrients ay carbohydrates, proteins, fats, which is your macronutrients. Tapos yung mga micronutrients, kagaya ng vitamina at mineral, yung mga medyo popular lang, no? ang mga alam nila. When in fact, minerals like selenium o kaya yung sinabi nga kanina ni Ma'am Virgis na zinc, kailangan din po natin. So, so dito po, sa I amin mean, infographics, nakalagay po dyan lahat ng mga sources, richest sources ng ating mga nutrient. Next slide, please. Napakahalaga. Ito nakikita ko. Vitamin oh, A. Tapos mga karaniwang pagkain na sagana sa vitamin A. Yes. Ayan. Oh, Can we kindly extract that art card at ilagay natin sa Facebook page uh, A, B, Abacada. So, lahat <laughs> ng vitamin A ito. Lahat ng B ito. Lahat mm -hmm. ng C ito. Lahat yes. ng B ito. Lahat ng zinc ito. Yan. Yes. Yan ang public Opo. service na magagawa ng aking tanggapan at ang Climate Change Commission kasama nyo, ilalagay natin. So, Lahat ng ating mga pinapasadaan dito, dahil nagmamadali tayo one hour and a half, <laughs> we will put permanently jointly on all our Facebook page. Ayun. Maraming maraming salamat po. Kasi uh, masabi ko po, no, itong mga infographics na tinaas namin, dumadating na po yan sa mga LGUs. Ang ginagawa po nila, iti-print out nila, tapos ilalagay nila na parang uh, pakel sa palengke, no, na uh, ano ba tawag yes. dito, uh, uh, parang malaking malaking announcement no na andoon po ang hinihingi lang naman po namin ay bigyan kami na kung saan nila nakuha meron na rin po humingi sa amin ng permission para gamitin po ang mga ito para ituro naman sa elementary at high school na ngayon na nag-uumpisa ng klase napakaimportanteng bagay din po yun at bumibigay ito ang ito kayo po kami, sa UP College of Econom Home Economics ang gumawa nito yes. So yes. I would advise, remind all my staff to put the proper attribution, whether it is yes, from Bridget Buena or from Zenaida or from uh, uh, Professor Sa H.E. Luz. Okay. Um, and please stay with us because how interesting, just like all of you have uh, given us inputs on how to eat and how to grow our own food and the menus, this person uh, who is passionate about uh, documenting, studying, and doing the menus, the food of our forefathers. Sawag dyan a culinary heritage. As you know, I am a documentarist at heart. I love to research and document and talk about and advocate not just textiles. Pansin nyo, ito ay patadyong, hand-woven. Pero maliban sa patadyong, nagawang uh, antike ay meron din mga pagkain, hindi lamang sa antike, kundi sa iba't ibang mga kultura sa ating bansa. At ngayon, papakinggan natin, sorry ha, late na ha, <laughs> pero papakinggan natin ang ating um, culinary heritage expert. Oh. Si Chef Jam, are you still with us? You were here at 10 o'clock, it's 11.30. Tell us please, what is culinary heritage? Ano ba ang mga menu ng dating mga lolo at lola natin? How do we promote a healthy diet at the same time mapping and uh, retaining and uh, conserving our heritage when it comes to food? Chef Jan. Hi, Ko Lauren. Thank you again for this opportunity na may share yung aming advocacy sa inyong mga tagapanood at tagapakinig. Kami po sa Slow Food uh, International. It's a grassroots movement based in Italy. It's actually present in 190 plus countries. Among our activation campaign is of course, um, next slide please, is yung Arc of Taste. 
So, sa Arc of Taste namin, we try to archive different uh, ingredients from different countries. Um, ang total tally namin as of the moment is 5,000 plus already. But for the Philippines, next slide, we have actually 64. Ito ay nominate namin kami mga slow food uh, members para patuloy na ma-promote and ma-preserve yung ating biodiversity. Pwedeng grains, pwedeng rice, pwedeng um, fruits or cooking traditions, gaya ng mga sumusunod. Next. Nag-nominate kami ng Creole. I will interrupt Chef Jam. Sinabi mo, 64. Ano nga ba yung 64 na sinabi mo? Yan ay mga nahahanap sa Pilipinas? Ganun ba yon? Yes. Ito yung mga indigenous uh, ingredients natin and crops at the moment. So, Ilan na ang na-document ng buong slow food sa buong bansa? Uh, 64 pa lang yung na-approve nila na under sa atin. But we have nominated uh, several already from all over okay. the country. So when you say uh, there are 64... Uh, foods, uh, the 64 plants uh, na na-nominate at na-approve ng Slow Food International na nagka-qualify na ano? H how do you uh, say that? The 64, how do you define the 64 foods? Ang, ang Art of Taste kasi is an online database. Yes. So ito ay um, pwedeng i-access ng kahit sino. At uh, okay. pag pinag-uusapan ng isang produce, pag pinag-uusapan ng isang pagkain, ibig sabihin, Pwedeng hindi nawawala ito sa discussions. Pwede ituloy pang itanim, ihain ng mga tao. Kasi pag hindi na pinag-uusapan ang isang pagkain, maaaring mamatay ito katulad ng kultura natin. That's true. So you're saying that the 64 food sources, whether grains or seeds or plants or vegetables, are still alive uh, and found in the Philippines, have been nominated or documented in uh, Slow Food International and um, na approve. How, how do you say it? Uh, it's part of the database in the Arc of Taste program of Slow Food. You know, yes. Yes. And, I'm uh, sure at, there are more than 34. Mas marami kaysa 64. There are more of than 64. Course. That's yes. why I'm pushing for this uh, food mapping. Kasi kung aasa lang tayo at sasandal lang tayo sa international organization, Eh, matagal na panahon bago may approve Pero ang dami-dami pa nating produkto yes. at mga indigenous crops na kailangan nating gamitin, pag-usapan at talaga namang itanim pa para humaba yung buhay at hanggang sa mga next generations ay patuloy nilang pakinabangan ang mga ito. Very good ka. Ngayon, uh, may we request everyone on Facebook uh, to please post in any Facebook page of our collaborating agencies and in my Facebook page where you are right now, lahat ng food sources na alam ninyo, ayan, paramihan tayo para nagsimula na tayo today ng ating food mapping. Okay, Jam? Okay. I will just cite some examples nung 64 na nakalathala na start of taste. For example, itong Criollo Cacao. We have different varieties of Cri Criollo Cacao in our country. Next slide. Next slide, please. We have tabon-tabon. Tabon-tabon is actually a souring ingredient na ginagamit ng mga uh, Filipinos pre-Hispanic days pa kasi ito ay merong isang archaeological site sa Mindanao. Nakita nila na talagang ang shells na ito kasama na ginagamit ng mga sinaunang Filipino sa pagpapaasim, paggawa ng kinilaw. Saan yan na nahahanap itong tabon-tabon? Um, marami po nito sa south, sa Mindanao. Actually, sa isang palengke in Cotabato, nakakita ako 10 pesos ang isang piraso. Okay. Next slide. Duman. Duman is one of the, is actually, I think, the most expensive rice ha, in, in the Philippines. It's grown in Pampanga. Usually, ang harvest nito every December. Tapos, 400 pesos per kilo. Next slide. And this one I found in uh, uh, Camarines Sur. It's the bladder, dried bladder, salted dried bladder of abo, yung fish. And when you fry it, it's like chicharron. 
ang cost nito is 2,500 pesos per kilo. It's one of our indigenous uh, fishes. Ano ang tawag is, dito? Biti? Biti. We call it biti. Saan ka nakahanap ang biti? Sa Camarines po, sa Bicol. Ah, Bicol alam ko. Pizza. Alam ko yan, pinuntahan ko yung lake. Bawal yan. Yeah, bawal maghuli niyan. Yan yung uh, Lake Buhi, sa Lake Buhi. Yes. Yes. Siguro po, dahil uh, paubos na, just like Tawilis, syempre, it's endangered already. So, bawal, talagang... Um, bawal yan. Uh, Noong napunta ko noon, uh, sa isang, uh, I forget the event, but they told me that it was endangered and they're not allowed to harvest or to, to gather uh, in Lake Buhi. Okay. Next slide. So ito pong mga products na ito, we continuously promote them sa loob at sa labas ng bansa. And um, thanks to the Department of Agriculture sa patuloy nilang uh, pagpupromote ng ating uh, culinary heritage. Next slide. Ang taste workshops po ay patuloy naming ginagawa sa slow food. At uh, in cooperation with the Philippine Culinary Heritage Movement, yung Filipino Food Month. Next slide ay ginagawa po every April, katulad nung sinabi ko sa inyo nung sa previous na to. At ito ay uh, nice namin gamitin ng lahat para maging platform upang i-promote yung mga indigenous foods, crops, and uh, culinary traditions natin. Very good. Is that your presentation? I'm sure you have many more. Uh, yes. Can we request you, Chef Jan, uh, not now, if you don't have all the pictures, to give us uh, pictures and we will attribute it to you. You post it on your Facebook, we can repost it. What are the 64 food sources, whether plant-based or, uh, or galing sa lawa or sa karagatan, that are um, still here with us and accredited in the art of taste? Yes, but now, I can actually share the link. Kasi it's Very published by, by Slow Food Online and madali okay. po siyang access. And also, uh, I want to take this opportunity na yayain yung mga Filipino in all provinces kasi pwede kayong mag-nominate ng sarili ninyong indigenous crops. Isend nyo po sa amin yung database, yung details, so we can archive everything and put them na dun sa binabalak namin ni Kong Lauren na food mapping. Sige, we will, uh, I hope that Dr. Crespo of the University of Antica is here and perhaps I could also, uh, yeah, Sherry and Tala, we will write uh, the Commission on Higher Education so that they could uh, instruct all our state universities and colleges to do food mapping. Kung saan yung SUC, maski na yung uh, local government colleges, um, sila ay makakatulong. Diba? Even DepEd, ang ating, parte to ng culture mapping eh but we're focusing on food mapping. Interesting. Stay with us, uh, Chef Jam. Um, can you share with us ano ang kasama sa Ark of Taste na mga galing sa Region 6 sa Panay, sa Antique? Meron ka ba? Or you can get back to us later because I'm 45 minutes over time and we will still have our farm entrepreneur, Manny on the line. Mang Manny is with us. Will tell us about ah, how interesting rice, nutrition, and rice heritage. Nako, ang usaping rice ay higit sa isang oras. So, pag-uusapan natin ang rice heritage and rice nutrition and uh, how do we switch, switch to an organic uh, kind of lifestyle. Ako po, adlay ang kinakain ko eh. At saka brown rice. O mang nani. We hear your presentation. Thank you very much, Chef Jam. Please stay with us. Hello po. Hello. Yes, I can see you, Mang Mani. Uh, <laughs> uh, I am supposed to. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much for uh, this opportunity, uh, uh, Deputy Speaker, Mama Legarda. I, why my title is Indigenous People or Filipino uh, Farm Entrepreneur. I am a farmer. An indigenous farmer and at the same time I market I organize my co-farmers and market the produce directly to the market in Manila uh, the, my presentation is supposed to be on the rice uh, uh, and then I would like to show you this this rice 
I don't know how, how it is. Can you see it? Can you see it? Malabo yata, mama. Medyo malabo. Sige, continue po. Anyway, uh, so the rice in the Philippine uh, history context is only the it's the first product that has a tie up with political, social, and cultural context of our life in the Philippines. Bakit po? Uh, it, ang rice po in the cultural minorities, particularly in the Cordillera where I come from. Dito po na develop yung tinatawag natin na heritage not only in the production side but even until the consumption side. So on the production side, mayroon kaming tinatawag na yung mga tingaw or rest day before cleaning the field after uh, after planting, then after harvesting, then after harvesting you have or again the fi fiestas where you, the community will share and celebrate the fruits of their uh, labor. Anyway, the rice that we are promoting right now is uh, what we call the or brown organic rice. When we say brown, technically, ito po yung unpolished rice, yung tinatawag ni mam na brown rice. So the brown rice may be either black, ito, ito yung black, nakita niyo itong, itong black rice. This, ito yung black rice. Unpolished po ito. Uh, then we have the red rice. Ito po yung red rice. Ito po yung tinatawag natin na brown unpolished rice. So, makita nyo, it's a... Uh, o oh, yan, yan. Then, we have itong, uh, ito yung popular sa Pilipinas ngayon na promote, which is, uh, ano ba ito? White rice, which is even uh, Miss Palis. Madulas siya kung hawakan nyo. Madulas siya. At makintab. Ito po ay tinatawag sa Buddhist, sa Buddhist culture na desecrated. Bakit desecrated? Tinanggal mo, tinapon mo yung ibang uh, parte ng bigas na nandoon lahat yung ibang kasangkapan o yung tinatawag natin na nutritional, phytochemicals at iba pang sangkap. Ipapakita ko po sa inyo yung katulad nitong rice. Ito po ang imagine, let us imagine na ito yung black rice. Kapag tanggalin mo itong black rice, Ito yung, uh, ito, ito, yung, ito yung butil inside, which is a white rice, which is 80% compound complex sugar or carbohydrates. Makita nyo? So, ito ngayon yung white rice. So, kung pina, ito yung tapakain sa atin, so 80% of our population or even 90% ng population natin, ay ito lang ang pipapakain sa atin. It's an imbalanced diet. Bakit? Natanggal itong tinatawag natin na rice, rice bran. Teka. Ito po, natanggal. Uh, uh, itong rice bran, ito po yung balat. Pangalawang balat ng palay. Dito, nakakonsentrate yung tinatawag natin na vitamins and minerals and phytochemicals of yung rice. Makita nyo itong malaki sa loob niya, ito yung puti, ito yung tinatawag natin na ito yung white rice. So this is 80% carbohydrates. So kung ganito na lang yung pinapakain sa atin, kailangan nga natin ang supplement. Kasi kulang na nga wala na yung vitamins and minerals and the protein. Itong maliit dito, na tutuguan nung panibagong sibol, dito nakakonsentrate yung protein ng rice. So makita nyo po yung, there is a concentration of protein 
there is a concentration of vitamins and minerals doon sa skin and there is the concentration of the sugar or the carbohydrates. Kung ganito yung pagkaintindi natin sana sa pagkain, ay makikita natin na we are going to be self-reliant, self-sufficient, at saka resilient sana tayo. But there is a looming question, paano tayo magiging self-reliant kung 60% of our population is depending on tinatawag natin itong factory food based culture. Kung factory food based culture, I would just like to name it yung tinatawag kong pandesal culture. Yung pandesal, the raw material for pandesal, ay hindi po nang gagaling dito sa atin. It's an imported, imported from wheat. So, pag-uusapan natin itong in relation to this pandemic right now, I don't know how we are going to survive as a country. If we are, go if 60% of our food, is food supplies is based on wheat, nag-i-import nga tayo ng rice eh. And I, I know uh, the uh, Honorable uh, Congresswoman uh, knows this very well. Yes, thank so, you very much for that. Um, maybe we can have one episode on rice. Uh, it's never enough, but uh, stay on please because we have a rice growing province and that's my province of Antique. And the Center for West B Science Studies at the University of the Philippines in uh, Diliman has a province mate, in fact, a uh, beloved Kasimanwa from my hometown of Pandan. Can we hear from Mr. Joso at ipaliwanag mo ang aking yaman sa pagkain, the rich culinary heritage of Northern Antique. Uh, sa mga hindi po nakakapunta sa Antique, nandyan po yung uh, Northern Panay protected area. Uh, yan yung kayamanan ng kalikasan ng Northern part of Antique. Pero maliban dyan, meron po tayong mayaman din na culinary heritage. Maliban din sa ginagawa po nilang mga produkto gaya ng suot ko at gaya ng baril at marami pang iba. Kaya super yaman ng antike at ang northern antike. Kaya uh, Mr. Joso, uh, Sasha Joso ng Center for West Visayan Studies ng UP Visayas, uh, mayad nga aga, maayong aga, ipa liwanag mo sa amin ang importance uh, ng culinary heritage at papano pa yung mga masarap pero healthy na kinakain at the same time na pre-preserve natin or na map natin ang ating culinary heritage. UP Ayun. Science. Yes. Medjid nga aga, Deputy Speaker. Magandang umaga sa lahat. Uh, pinili ko yung dalawang luto galing ng Northern Antique bilang nag, para mag-represent ng culinary heritage doon. Ito yung uh, binabak at saka yung pinayikan na uh, banag. Uh, yung binabak, yung main ingredients niya ay uh, fresh water shrimp na tinatawag namin urang at saka uh, pangiin o yung young coconut meat. Tapos yung pinayikan na banag naman, yung uh, main ingredients niya ay fresh water snail at saka yung uh, coconut milk. Uh, sisimulan ko sa binabak. Medyo mitikuloso yung pagluluto nito mula sa preparation kasi nga uh, aabutin ka ng tatlong oras sa pagluluto. Yung dalawang main ingredients ay hinahalo siya sa patuan leaves, uh, luya, salt, onion bulb, bulb and leaves, and garlic. At binabayo gamit yung mortar and pestle o tinatawag namin na halo ka glusong. At ito ay uh, binabalot sa dahon ng tagikik na makikita usually sa bulubunduking bahagi ng uh, area at uh, slow cook ito sa boiling water with salt. Sa next slide please. Sa pa naman sa pinayukan na banag, ito ay fresh water snail na cook yung coconut milk at nilalagyan ng gutaw o gabi. 
At kung saan ito ay kinukombine din sa onion, garlic, uh, tanlad or lemongrass, ginger, vinegar and salt at saka pinapakuluan sa coconut milk. Ako nakakalaway naman lahat yan, nakakagutog, tanghalian, ang sarap sa pagkain sa atin. O, sige, patuloy. Sige. Okay. Hindi ito hinahalo kasi mag, mag, magiging makate siya. So hinahalo siya kapag malapit ng maluto. Yung uniqueness dito ay um, marami sa mga luto sa Northern Antique ay may kasamang paniniwala. So sa pagluluto ng dalawang luto na ito, nung binabak at saka pinayukan na banag, uh, dapat maingat ka kasi nga sa paghahandal ng ingredients, you should ensure na careful ka na hindi ito matapon sa apoy. At halimbawa, yung mga uh, shells ng urang o yung fresh water sink, hindi mo dapat itapon sa area na malapit sa apoy kasi the burnt smell of urang o pinayukan ng banag may enrage the spirits. Ito yung mga tinatawag naming taglugar or yung mga uh, environmental spirits. So, magagalit ang mga taglugar because they are believed to be guardians of this uh, species. At sa kanilang galit, uh, magkakaroon ka ng punishment na tinatawag na angol. Ito ay characterized, ito ay illness in which uh, a person suffers from mild to severe headache and neck pain. So, dito sa dalawang culinary heritage na ito, makikita natin yung interaction ng environment or yung palibot na tinagtawag natin at ng mga tao. Ang binabak yung mga main ingredients siya na sa source sa palibot na kung saan nandyan yung mga dinang manggad o yung natural wealth sa rivers limbawa at kasama na rin yung pan, yung, yung karagatan na nagbibigay ng uh, sustenance sa mga tao. And as locals derive their sustenance from the palibot, the locals also recognize that they are not the only dwellers in the area. In fact, they believe that they cohabitate with the environmental spirits who are guardians of river and mountain. And the belief in angol is a proof to that. That's why talagang ang pagprotekta nila sa palibot ay nakaangkla rin sa kanilang paniniwala na hindi lang sila yung nananahan sa mga lugar na yan. So, in effect, the locals utilize the natural resources and contribute in promoting uh, environmental conservation. So, itong dalawang culinary heritage na ito ay bahagi na ng Pagkakilan lang, no, lalong-lalo na halimbawa sa bayan natin sa Pandan, dito speaker, na pag sinabing binabak ay talagang makikita sa Pandan at sa iba rin bahagi ng Pan Northern Antique. Ma Ma-observe natin na uh, additional ingredients can be added to concoction when available and people from that side of Panay relies on what is available in the environment to be part of uh, the meal. And itong binabak at pinayuka na banag, uh, both dishes require tedious process which reflects people's hard work, persistence, at yung love nila for the craft of cooking that fosters a sense of pride. Nung panahon ng, uh, nung nagsimula, nagsimula yung pandemic, ang pandan, ang kauna-unahang bayan sa mainland antique na nag-register ng uh, positive na case uh, ng COVID-19 infection. At dahil nga sa government-imposed lockdown at a restricting movement, the community resorted to backyard gardening at saka sa river fishing para masustain yung pangailangan sa pagkain. So, malaking tulong yung paniniwala at yung pagprotekta sa environment sa pagsustain ng pangailangan ng mga tao sa Northern Antique. Uh, to, to end, so this dishes from Northern Antique is a testament to the continuity of the vision because of the strong observance of cultural beliefs. And in this light of global health crisis, uh, crisis, we are invited to tap our indigenous knowledge and practices that can help us sustain and address the challenges that we are facing. Very good. Can we post your recipes for this, uh, Mr. Joso? O syempre yes, naman, sa kasiman mo, sa share mo yan. Ang sarap-sarap. <laughs> uh, pero you're correct. Uh, kung tayo ay nagtatanim sa ating backyard, kung tayo ay nagtatanim sa ating farm, Kung tayo ay nagtatanim sa ating barangay, kung wala tayong sariling pagtatangnan, yan ay tinatawag na slow food. Ibig sabihin, hindi galing sa malayo ang iyong kinakain or source ng iyong food. At kung malinis ang ating mga ilog, ang lawa, at kung tayo ay naghihiwalay ng basura at gumagawa ng sariling compost, lahat yan, maski sa panahon ng pandemya, Hindi kailangan magpunta ng malayong supermarket o ng grocery. Hindi kailangan ng maraming pera. Hindi kailangan uh, bumili dahil ikaw ay pipitas lang mula sa alokbati. 
Pipitas Opo, lang naman. mula sa malunggay na puno. Pipitas lang mula sa kangkong na iyo'y tinanim. Sa mga madadaling itanim sa saluyot na kinakain ko araw-araw. So anyway, yung mga tinuro mo at pinakita mong masarap, yan ay parte ng culinary heritage at may good news ako, una sasagutin natin lahat ng tanong na napakarami sa Facebook dahil kulang tayo sa oras tungkol sa diet at nutrition. Pero gagawa tayo ng isang oras or more na buo kung payag si Jam tulungan ako next week para simula na natin ang ating mapping. And we will have regional speakers uh, in every region to be joining us in our Zoom session and Facebook. So ang topic next week will be culinary heritage o ang tawag ni Mundita Lim na dating taga DNR ay yung agro-biodiversity. Pero ang ating mga tanong tungkol sa nutrition, sa diet na napakarami, ay iisa-isahin na Q&A sa aking Facebook page. Now, we go to the ecology of food. Meron tayong plant-based chef na kasama at uh, siya instructor na naguturo ng ecology of food. Alam natin ang ekolohiya, yan ang ating uh, kina, uh, kalikasan, ang ating kapaligiran. Pero merong ecology of food. Ayan, pakinggan po natin si Asha Perry. Hi Asha, good morning. Tell us please an overview. Ano ba yung ecology of food? Ano ba ang tinatawag? We've been talking about it for two hours. A plant-based nutrition. Sana ang UP College of Economics patuloy na tinuturo to ang ating mga nutritionists at let us make it simple and accessible. What is a plant-based diet? What, although alam ko naman yan, pero importante, encourage everyone to get into a plant-based diet. What is a biodiverse diet? How do we encourage people to plant and grow their own food, to cook their own food using local, organic, and biodiverse. Parang pwede kaya ako mag-lecture ah. Pero hindi. We will ask the instructor to lecture. May we have Asha, please. Thank you very much, Deputy Speaker, for the invitation to um, join this webinar and to share my passion about plant-based nutrition. Also, the ecology of food is a six-day plant-based culinary course. Next slide, please. But more than being, next slide, please. But more than just being a culinary course, no, this is an educational platform for students to learn about the critical issues in our food system. So we tackle yung ecological issues. We also try to understand our bodies in relation to ecology. And also, pat na rin yung social, political dimension ng food. No? And also to understand the journey of our food from farm to table, from the seed to our plate. So this involves knowing the story of our seeds and its relationship to the soil, to the farmer, to the animals, even to the bacteria and the microorganisms living in the soil and in our gut. So for me, the kitchen is really the best place to, you know, reclaim our health and our lost biodiversity by cooking as a community using produce from our partner organic farmers. Next slide, please. So in, in my curriculum, now, which I designed, there are four modules. In Food as Foundation, the focus is wholesome plant-based food as the foundation of our health and also the medicine that we need to prevent disease. So preventive medicine ang tawag dito. In food as information, I stress that the information that's coming from our food is actually created in the soil. So we study about a little bit about the soil in a way that my students can understand. And actually at the end of the course, I bring them to a permaculture farm in Kai Farms for them to understand what living soil looks like. Na itong living soil nito, dito nang galing ang nutrisyon na ang kinakain natin, lalo na plants. Um, in Food as Life Force, I promote farm fresh, local, organic, and part of this education also is for my students to learn how to cook our food without damaging the nutrients. So, ang, ang pinapromote ko is low temperature cooking. So, nothing above 120 degrees centigrade. Kasi I have the data on that. I studied about this you know, from various teachers. If we can only preserve the nutrients, the enzymes, spoon below 120 degrees. And in Food as Heritage, we, I encourage students to also get to know our indigenous, our endemic, and our forgotten gotten crops and learning how to cook with all of these crops in a creative way. No? Next slide, please. 
um, part of the curriculum also is in to introduce these related topics as part of the ecology of food. So Rina, yung guest last week who talked about Bokashi composting, she comes and, and teaches the students how to compost their food waste. And then Mangmani, who just spoke, no, he talks about traditional rice as our heritage food. It's this is so fun because we have music, we have dance. No, he brings his gong because the music is very much a part of the rice tradition. And then yung, yung Good Food Community naman, um, the co-founder comes and introduces their CSA model. CSA is, uh, uh, in short, it's community-supported agriculture. It's a food distribution model that offers weekly gulay subscriptions. No? Um, and this promotes the biodiversity, the, the diversity of produce that's being grown by their small farmers. And then um, zero waste is also an important part of this advocacy. You know, we don't want to pollute the environment, to keep on polluting the environment. So as much as possible, we try to refuse plastics and to refrain from packaged foods. So kaya ang advocacy natin is, you know, to source it out directly from our local, um, uh, local farmers. Next slide, please. So what is a biodiverse diet? Now, I'm very passionate about this. Ecology of food recognizes that in nutrition, when we talk about nutrition, we always champion diversity. Diversity is fundamental in nutrition. And the best source for, of this diversity is plants. They are also the most digestible source of the macros and the micros, the, the carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, and also the vitamins, the minerals, the phytonutrients, and also fiber. Wag natin kalimutan, very important in fiber. Um, uh, next slide, please. And the same is also true in farming. No, We champion diversity, not monocultures. So for me, you know, as an educator and also as a chef, um, my plate, when I prepare food on my plate and when I teach, I tell my students that our plate should be a reflection of the biodiversity that grows in the fields as practiced by permaculturists, by dynamic farmers, yung mga nagpa-practice ng agroecology, where you grow different crops together instead of just one crop. Can we go back to the previous slide? Yes. So when we talk about nutritionally diverse food, this can, we, we, we have to stress this, this can only come from local, organic, and seasonal. The most nutritionally diverse foods are locally grown. When we support local, we cut all the, we cut the food chain, we cut all the preservatives, the chemicals that's toxic to our bodies and the environment. Also, organic. Organic plant food is the most protective for our health. So, hindi lang plants. Dapat organic siya. This is not grown with chemicals, artificial fertilizers, and also GMO-free. Uh, this is a whole discussion in itself. So, kung hindi nyo masyadong alam yung GMO, basta tandaan nyo, dapat GMO-free siya. Seasonal foods. Now, how can we make this more affordable? No, Sabi nila, organic is very expensive. But let's think seasonal. Seasonal food... Uh, pag seasonal, mas madaming supply, so mas mura, mas affordable. No? So huwag tayo maghanap ng, ng pagkain na wala sa season kasi definitely mas mahal yun. So when we say local, organic, um, seasonal, this is very sustainable for our health, for the health of our planet. It lessens the risk of chronic disease. No? It, um, it doesn't pollute our land, our water, and our air. And then also, um, I must mention that planting and eating more resilient crops can mitigate climate change because we know um, it's already been established that the main driver of climate change is actually industrial agriculture, particularly livestock farming or factory farming. As Mangmani mentioned, no? yung mga factory food. Na yan. Next slide, please. And uh, next slide. And another reason why biodiversity is very important is because of our new knowledge about the new science. No? The new science talks about the gut microbiome. Yung gut microbiome natin or the ecosystem of microbes or the collection of microorganisms living in our gut ecosystem, they need the nutritional diversity from plants, especially fiber. We must consider na ang fiber na to, we can only get it from plants. We cannot get this fiber from animals. So when we have a diversified plant-based diet, we actually feed the different species of bacteria um, in our gut ecosystem. And then pag balance yung microbial community natin, this means a stronger immune system, no? And this actually can already address all the nutritional deficiencies. Even if you're not a nutritionist, even if you don't know all the individual vitamins and minerals and all these macronutrients, if you eat a biodiverse diet, if you take care of your gut health, 
then you won't have any deficiencies. No? So um, a strong immune system is very dependent on gut health. And the pandemic has been a reminder for us that we should be eating a lot more plants. We have to support local. We have to eat organic. Um, next slide, please. So how do we encourage people to prepare biodiverse food? No? How to create biodiversity on our plate? So these are very practical tips. Because every day when I prepare food, and this is also what I teach in my classes, yung plate natin should visually and nutritionally tell the story of biodiversity and resilience. So how do we create the story on our plate? Um, when, I, when I create, for example, my lunch, no? so 40% of what's on my plate is actually local organic grains. So I'm talking about traditional, unpolished, heirloom rice, different colors. If you can see this parang ano behind me, this rack, ito, hindi nyo nakikita sa kabuuan, but I have at least 60 different seeds behind me. Most of them are local. I would say 90% local. And I have at least 12 different rice, uh, traditional and heirloom rice variety source from different farmers like Mangmani. No? So some of them are, were grown in the uplands, some are grown in the lowlands. So we must consider that when we talk about biodiversity, different conditions for growing crops give you different kinds of nutrition. So, um, adlay also, I have that in my pantry and sorghum. So, makikita pa lang natin na, makikita natin na when it comes to grain diversity, malawak, no? no? We don't need to look for any other place other than the Philippines for this diversity. And then, root crops, no? Ito, isa sa mga pinahahalagahan ko na, na pagka, and root crops are, when you look at how it's grown in the farm, they're very climate resilient. It's called a survival crop. Um, they grow beneath the ground, di ba? So when something, when a crop grows beneath the ground, it means that they absorb a lot of water and minerals from the soil. And if a particular food crop contains a lot of minerals, that becomes immune supportive, no? It's a good way to support our immune system. Another top, um, so pag root crops, hindi lang kamote, no? Kasi pag sinabing kamote, maraming varieties yan. Ube, taro, taro is one of my favorites. Um, Cassava was in season for two, for two to three months. Hanggang ngayon, meron pa rin cassava. And I, we also have a lot of cassava in our farm. We have a farm in Batangas, uh, Labanos. Yun. So, sprouted beans, nuts, and seeds. Now, I want to stress sprouted kasi these plant, yung plant-based food na to na, it's a great alternative to beef or, and to meat, nuts, and seeds. They give us good quality proteins and fats. Um, they need to be sprouted, meaning kailangan mo siyang isoak overnight before you eat them. So, this is actually a whole discussion in itself. No? Hindi ko pwede explain kasi masyadong mahaba kung bakit natin kailangan isoak. But definitely, you have to soak all seeds for at least 8 hours, 8 to 10 hours to have access to the nutrition. Kasi pag sinabi nutrition, hindi lang natin na-identify ano ba yung mga nutritions. We have to understand na may management involved yan. We have to understand how to deal with all these different kinds of foods. Okay, so slide um, 10. So how do I create a biodiverse plate? Ito yung example ng mga regular food na kinakain ko everyday, no? Um, kasi I, I, as a chef, I enjoy, you know, decorating my plate. I enjoy, you know, experimenting with different food combinations. So aside from the organic grains, no, na 40%, uh, may, minsan may root crops, minsan sa breakfast ko kinakain, Definitely, my beans dyan kasi plant-based ako. Hindi ako makain ng meat. So, yun yung source of protein ko. May nuts and seeds ako, which are my source of fat, sources of fats. And then, um, I choose mga two to four vegetable fruits, no? Like yung mga vegetables na may mga buto. They're technically fruits, but they're treated as vegetables. So, yung mga favorite ko, yan, sayote, green papaya, kalabasa. Yung mga normal lang na nakahanap natin sa, sa palengke, sa local organic farmer's market. Pero once in a while, you get these mga rare ones, na mga seasonal ones. And then stems also, maganda to include because they're very cleansing to our system, no? Um, when it comes to leafy greens naman, actually, hindi ako kumakain ng lettuce, no? Kasi it's a highly cultivated crop. Ang focus ko is more of the endemic and indigenous one. So, the uh, Deputy Speaker Lauren mentioned about yung mga alugbati, talinom, uh, uh, talbos ng sayo, talbos ng kamote, all of those are growing in my garden. They're very abundant, hindi kami na no? So, these endemic ones are actually more 
have more phytonutrients, lalo na yung may mga purple na pigments like the uh, alubati. They're high in anthocyanin. Yun yung purple pigment that's um, that's their phytonutrient. So these leafy greens can be cooked. They can be eaten raw also. No, pwedeng ihalo sa sabaw, pwedeng ihalo, pwedeng gawing adobo, or pwede rin kainin raw in salads. No, and then one of my favorites na leafy greens is cassava leaves. I'm not sure kung yung mga nakikinig ba is familiar sila how to cook this, no? And when I went to uh, to the uh, to meet the Dumaga tribe in in Sierra Madre sa Tanay, natuklasan ko that they cook this dish called potang hair, no? Medyo nakakatawa yung yung tunog, pero itong potang hair na to, it's made from cassava leaves na they cook with coconut milk and different uh, spices. So maanghang siya, para siyang laeng, but for me, it's actually even better than laeng, no? So, sobrang sarap tong potang hair dish na to made from cassava leaves. Um, ayun, mustasa, kalunay, talbos ng sayote, saluyot, malunggay, pechay. Ito yung mga greens na kinakain ko. Um, so, makikita nyo na ito yung plate ko, lagi yung may leafy green, tapos may greens, and then my, my vegetable fruits, and then my, my fermented foods. Again, next slide, please. Um, also, yung herbs and spices are very important kasi aside from being high in phytonutrients, no, hindi natin kailangan ng, ng big amount of herbs and spices kasi just a small amount can give us the necessary phytonutrients that we need. They also aid in boosting our digestion, lalo na yung mga maanghang, yung mga warming spices. And also, yun, when we use herbs and spices, wala, hindi kailangan ng MSG. No? Um, Aside from the trilogy of yung onion, garlic, ginger na daging kasama sa food natin, uh, gumamitin tayo ng mga tanglad, pandan, um, native galanggal tayo, favorite ko rin yun kasi I love Asian food. And then nung nasa Mindanao ako, na-discover ko na meron silang white scallion na, 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 na tatagpuan lang sa Muslim communities ang tawag sa kurab. Tapos ginagamit nila ito sa isang heritage condiment nila ang tawag palapa. So maanghang ito. And then it's it's widely used in Maranao cuisine, so ginagawa ko din yan. Um, para siyang MSG. Okay, I request you, Asha. Uh, first of all, we will post all your art cards, but all the plant sources that are unique or hindi basta basta. Let's say pandan at tanglad, marami tayo yan. Pero yung sinasabi natin na ginagamit sa Maranao cooking, maari siguro itanim yan sa Metro Manila or sa Luzon ilalagay natin yan kung pwede sa Facebook para ma-encourage natin na mas marami. Okay, continue please. Okay, and then flowers also can be incorporated, no? Aside from yung very common na banana heart, sometimes, seasonal ito, um, yung katuray, I'm not sure if you know that, no? Yung si Mang Manny ang nag-introduce sa akin ito kasi he, he has that in his booth. Um, mga, ano, before the summer started, meron siya niya na hinahalo sa mga laswa, sa mga sabaw, pwede rin pagsa... Kumakain ako ng katuray, meron akong katuray. <laughs> Ayun. Actually, Actually na natutuwa ako sa mga listahan mo, dahil yan ang aking mga recipe. <laughs> yes. Yeah, even the way you fix your food, nakakatawa eh. Um, maski gutom na gutom na ako, bago ko kumain, pinipicturean ko ng ganyan. Pero mas maganda yung, yung kuha mo. <laughs> natutuwa ako. Tapos nakikita ko parang permanent fixture sa'yo yung blue pea flower, yung blue ter natin na napaka bilis gumapang. Di ba? Oo. True. Kasi, I mean, it grows in our garden. Sayang naman, di ba? So, included in, in your meal, mga mga two to three pieces, it makes your plate look pretty. Tapos, ano din siya, it's high in phytonutrients and antioxidants. So, so, gamitin natin, no? And then, instead lang for tea, pwede naman siyang kainin. And then, when it comes to fruits naman, um, yung mga, I'm sorry, nakasulat dito rice fruits, dapat ripe fruits. Yung mga ripe fruits, we don't normally eat it with our meals, no? Normally, um, uh, in terms of food combining, it's best to eat alone. Uh, pero yung mga unripe fruits, like yung mga santol, nahilaw, jackfruit, even sabay, I'm not sure if our viewers realize this, pero yung green sabay, yung green Alakatan can actually be cooked into ulam and green mango also. Pwede yung going ulam with spices, with coconut milk, even chutney, pwede yung gawin, no? So, pwede rin incorporate yet, incorporate sa pagkain natin when we eat unripe foods, it offers us more diversity in our food preparation. Kasi ang subject natin, diversity. And then also sprouts, no? Yung sprouts, ito yung mga mongo sprouts. Um, I do that in my, I do that myself, no? Yung mga toge. 
Um, tapos yung mga alfalfa sprouts, broccoli sprouts, yun hindi masyadong local, pero hindi pwede natin incorporate sa diet kasi mataas siya sa nutrition, no? Dito uh, pwede nating pwede maging 5% ng diet natin. Ito yata ang ating longest webinar, no? It's uh, 12:20, uh, but Asha is a last speaker. Oh, I have so many questions here. I'll just read them and then um, uh, please, uh, my staff can help uh, answer the questions with all our speakers. But we continue with Asha. Okay, we will continue. Then I will read all the questions on Facebook now. Can we go back to the slide on fermented foods? Yes, back on the slide, please. Asha, uh, are you in Metro Manila or are you in a province? Um, I'm, I'm living in Pasig right now, but we're... Um, Sometime late this year, we're moving to our farm in Batangas. So we Very have good. And uh, the uh, the lessons uh, on the ecology of food are virtual, no? Not face to face. Um, it's actually on site, no? But I'm thinking of offering it online also. Um, yeah. In fact, yeah. Anyway. Can I go back lang to fermented foods? Because I'm very passionate. Yeah, about I can see now fermented foods. Okay. Fermented Foods are very good for ano, um, adding friendly bacteria to our gut. So, wag natin sabihin probiotics ang binibigay nitong fermented foods na to. Kasi for something to be a, to be considered as a probiotic, in especially food, it needs, yung general consensus ng scientific community, they said na for something to be called probiotic, kailangan tested sa laboratory. So, pag, pag fermented foods, ang sasabihin natin is it adds friendly bacteria to our gut. So it, it creates a better gut environment. So ano yung mga ito? What are these, Asha? Fermented foods, okay. Um, Na-mention na, like pwede yung mga kimchi, sauerkraut, hindi masyadong um, indigeno sa atin yung preparation nito. But if we use local produce, it's okay. And then, um, I also make my own miso using local beans ni Mang Mani, yung mga white beans, yung mga camouflage beans niya, black beans, even mongo can actually be made into miso. So, ginagawa ko lahat yan from scratch and also tempe. I make my own tempe also using our local beans. So, using... Ano yung tempe? What is tempe, Asha? It's normally made from soy beans na kinaferment siya with a starter na in culture na, na mold. Tapos, uh, tumitigas siya, nagiging, siyang, nagiging parang bloke. And then this this is a protein alternative. So masarap siya, no? Parang alternative siya to to meat, to ano, to, to fish okay. or whatever. So ferment an, an example of a fermented food. And then I also make my own yogurt. Pero since I'm a plant based um, chef, I use coconut. So I make coconut yogurt also. Yang um, you're a chef at nagtuturo ka ng face to face. But alam naman natin in the better normal, mahirap yung gathering na face to face, no? So, how do they access uh, your knowledge and your recipes? Uh, how do they learn from you? Now, actually, I sinisimulan ko palang yung platform na to, no? Kasi I, I understand that I need to go digital and online. So, yes, uh, I'm working on it, but definitely it is possible because I can give these cooking demos, no, on a virtual basis. So, okay. possible. Na. Mm -mm. So, so, my office will be your trial. <laughs> Pwede mo kami virtual. Uh, kasi sabi mo, ang classes mo, six days. Baka hindi naman namin kaya na six days. You have so much work. You can compress it into a special half-day class. Uh, kung kaya. <laughs> or, or one day. Um, so we learn the ecology of food. And we learn, uh, ang sarap, yung mga plant-based diet. O sige, subukan mo yung virtual online classes mo. Kami ang iyong guinea pig. O sige. Uh, yun. And then, um, when we talk about a biodiverse plate, no, so maganda na na you have at least five plant parts there and five colors. So, kompleto yan, kompleto kasi nutrition if you have those the parts and the colors. Because we have to understand that the way that a plant grows, no, the plants designed to uh, themselves or Mother Nature designed plants to distribute their nutrients in the different parts. So by having the parts there and also the colors na kung saan nakakoncentrate yung phytonutrients, assured ka na hindi ka nutritionally deficient. So pag nagpa-plan ako ng aking meal or ng menu, isipin ko ba, mm, meron ba akong seed, meron ba akong leaf, meron ba akong ano, root, yun, yun ganon. No? So can even be more than five parts, even more than five colors. Ang importante... Yung nakikita ko ba sa'yo, is that rice or is that adlai? Sa plato um, mo? Which one? Um, Ito, uh, yung unang letrato. Well, I use a combi I, I use rice and adlai, pero sometimes I also use a combination of them. Yung rice and okay. adlai to one meal. If I want Kasi it, parang nakikita ko dito, parang white rice, but there's something brown on top. Ano ba yun? That's adlai, and then on top is a kind of seasoning that I that I made, no? 
Uh, okay. Pa- and then, so ito yung tinatawag nating nutrient-dense meal, no? So we have to consider plant parts and also the color. So next slide, please. Um, so, of course, no, when we talk about biodiverse diet, local organic, we want everyone to be able to afford to eat this kind of food, no? Hin- no matter what budget you have. Hindi ito pang, you know, kung yung may budget lang or what, pag sinabing organic, mahal, it needs to be accessible to everyone. So, gusto ko lang i-quote si Mang Manny dito sa sinabi niya, no? Na those who have the means, if you have a bigger budget, you choose diversity of farm food items rather than a repetitive menu. So, pag mag-plan tayo ng menu natin, or kung mag- pumunta ka sa farmers, local organic farmers market, Buha ka ng little bit of each and then mahala na kung paano mo siya ipo-put together in a menu. Well, so you have to be creative kasi ako naman kasi as a chef, ginagawa ko, I teach people how to be creative to give to have all these ideas pero pwede ka rin mag-google to have you know to watch all these mga cooking shows and then to avoid factory food if you can. It will assure you utmost vibrant well-being. And then for those naman deprived of choice, yung hindi masyadong mataas yung budget. You choose cheap produce na organic that are high in nutritive and medicinal values. Ito yung mga wild, endemic, ito yung mga, you know, alugbati, saluyot, malunggay, ganyan. And avoid the highly domesticated vegetables and fruits. Ito yung mga broccoli, cauliflower, alam natin, mahal yan. Mahirap i-afford nung hindi masyadong mataas ang budget. Kasi pag sinabing organic, isipin, ay carrot, ay broccoli, ay cauliflower, hindi. So, depende sa budget mo din, no? So, next slide, my last slide, please. So, um, for nutrition, no, to be sustainable, we're talking about sustainability, it needs to be accessible to all. So I just want to quote yung, yung sinasabi ng Masipag, which is an NGO farmers network, farmer scientist network. Dapat sapat, ligtas, abot kaya, at samot saring pagkain ang, ang ina-advocate natin para sa lahat. So in English, sufficient, safe, affordable, diverse food for all. That's our advocacy. Very advocate. good. We can only achieve this sustainable, in tinatawag natin sustainable nutrition if we mainstream agroecology, biodiversity, permaculture, and all these farming methods that follow the laws of nature and hindi siya destructive sa soil. Kasi pag destructive sa soil, hindi siya sustainable. So, kasi we get our food, we get the nutrients of our food from the soil. So, dapat tiniting natin kung paano nang paano inaalagaan ng farmers yung soil natin. So, our, for our food choices to be sustainable, kailangan it's good for our health, it's good for the environment, it needs to protect our farmers, and of course, it has to be good for the economy. So, thank you very much for the thank opportunity. Thank you. Wow, that's so interesting. All of you have been so interesting, and um, I uh, will continue my offer for my office to be your uh, guinea pig for your first online uh, virtual course Um the plates that you showed us in your art cards look like the plates that I do every day. And gusto ko lang pong sabihin sa lahat na nanonood sa atin sa Facebook ngayon, ay hindi po kailangan mahal ang kinakain. Ako po, araw-araw, kangkong, alukbati, talbos ng kamote. Uh, ang aking iniinom po ngayon ay luyang dilaw na ako po ang nagtanim at passion fruit po na ako rin ang nagtanim. Tapos ang kinakain ko rin po ay uh, bulaklak na bluter natin na ang bilis gumapang at ang saluyot at malunggay po ay madaling itanim. Kaya po hindi kailangan mahal, hindi kailangan magastos. So I challenge and inspire all of you to grow your own food. Hindi lang sa panahon ng pandemic, kung hindi sa ating buhay. You grow your own food so that we can have a better normal. Can I just read napakaraming? Mm, how do I read all of this? Okay. Um, hindi ko po masasagot lahat po ng inyong mga tanong, but I will ask my staff to uh, read them, uh, to answer them in our Facebook. From Frit Season, kahit overtime pa Madam Inday Loren, kung ganito po ka-informative ang topic, walang kasing saya po. Pero gutom na po tayo, 12.30 na, promise, last na po. Sana po ma-i-upload din ang mga presenters, ang kanilang presentation. Yes, we will upload everything in the Kong Loren Legarda Facebook page where you are and in the Climate Change Commission Facebook page and in my YouTube channel, Loren Legarda. Can my staff text me the exact links to both and I will and all of our resource persons ang kanilang uh, contact details uh, will all be there in their various social media accounts and platforms. Thank you very much for your comments. From Bianx Magilo, this is very refreshing to the ears. 
Most of us already forgot about the benefits of these kinds of foods, such as root crops and leafy greens. By switching into biodiverse diet, we will be keeping our body fit and healthy in a more natural way. A lot of people should know about your recipes to encourage them to be more aware of their intake. This is very informative and helpful. Thank you very much. We will upload Asha okay sayo at saka kay Professor UP College of Economics. We will upload the recipes, right? Yes, with their permission, but please do not say that it is a recipe of Lauren Legarda. We will put the attribution sa recipes, pati yung pandan recipes na napakasarap ni Mr. Joso. Okay. Mary Grace Urfila, wow, very informative indeed. Good healthy foods, go with biodiversity protection, like and support this one. Sa mga hindi po nakasimula mula 10 o'clock, we will upload this in my Facebook so it's forever there. And you can also review all the shows, ilan na ba tayo? Seven or eight shows in the past weeks. And we will also include the longer presentations of all our resource persons. Adam Jesus Bering, how can the participants and the Facebook viewers avail a copy of the video presentations? As I said, i-upload po natin yan sa lahat ng aking social media platform, namely my Facebook page and my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, one a minute, I will just read. Okay, today is our eighth episode. And there is an art card I will post on the contact details of all our resource persons. Can you also post my YouTube channel and my Facebook page? Para pwede yung balikan ng balikan. From Joy Denako, the topics discussed today are all interesting and very informative. I hope next time speakers um, would be limited to three to four. Ah, masyadong marami, tama ka. So it won't be an overload of information for viewers. Sessions can be separated into two episodes. That's why we're having one whole episode on culinary heritage next week. So we can appreciate the topic shared by all speakers. Thank you for today's learning about food and nutrition. I learned a lot. Kudos to Kong Legarda, organizing team and speakers. You're welcome. Adam Jesus Bering, watching from FCU Rojas, ah, sa mga taga Rojas City Capis, kamusta po kayo? Duro din salamat sa inyong pagpanood. Arden Rod Condes, is Arden Rod Condes our great director? Yes, great talk, Sasha Joso. Aba, meron ka palang pan dito, ha? Okay, kakagutom. Sana, um, direct Arden, pwede kayang gumawa ka ng documentary tungkol sa mga indigenous cooking ng Northern Antique. Hindi ba magandang topic yan? Ayan. Marichel Maggusara Abo. Good morning po. Buren de Su. Kruhay. Kruhay Antique. Thea Pentason. UP Pandanons for Sasha. Parang napakaraming fans yata. Balik natin. Si Sasha. O, si Sasha nahihiya. Siya dyan. Marami daw siyang fans. Arden Rod Condes. Binabak. Ano ba yung binabak? Um, ano yung binabak is best? Sabi ni Direk Arden. Ano yun? Mr. Joso. Yun yung, yun yung pernasent ko ni the congressman na pa na binabak yun. Binabak. Freshwater okay. shrimp. Oh. Ah, yung yes. Yes, yung freshwater shrimp. Yes. Uh, in season ba yan ngayon? Oh, pero pag umuulan, medyo mahirap mak mak makuha. Ah, wala na ngayon. O pagpunta ko, pag wala nang na ECQ, GCQ, pag yes, makalipad na, ha, ahanapin kita, lutuan yes, mo po, ha. O sige. <laughs> <laughs> si Virgit Buena, thanks. Pero yung aking throat, Ah, hindi rin siya mag-cooperate si Virgit. Oo nga, mag magsalabat ka. O sige. Aba, si Arden. Masipag si Arden. O, go, Sasha, Joso. Ang dami mong fans, ha? O, yun. Tapos, Macy Bonroan. Very informative. Continuously watching. Mundita Lim. Agro-biodiversity. That's her comment on the food mapping discussion. Uh, Mundita, are you still in Los Banos? Kasama ka sa ating programa sa gagawin natin with Climate Change Commission on food mapping. Okay, ipat luna. Trabaho mo rin yan, ha? Tochi Esu, isang masustansyang umaga sa ating lahat. Talaga masustansya. Kit Ian Maosi sa our so-called nutrition experts should also level up their knowledge and not remain with the conventional health knowledge. Tama ka? Um, Plant-based diet, lifestyle talaga yung the best. It's appalling. Oh, that the Philippine government is behind 
when it comes to nutrition. Aha, uh -huh, kaya nga ginagawa natin ito para lahat ay makaintindi. Uh, growing kids really need, uh, uh, sabi niya kailangan din no, minsan ng pork and beef. Okay, Rafi Beaver, what food would help undergo, ah, sa mga nagmenopause, ano bang food ang maganda? Uh, let's show the picture of, um, of uh, our nutritionist, uh, Virgit Buena. Meron daw siyang letrato at sagutin na siguro niya, ano daw yung pagkain na dapat kinakain ng mga nagmenopause? Oh, do we have the picture of Virgit? Doon abas pa siya sa garden niya. Ayan! Naku, ang, ang taba naman yan. Anong halaman yan? Ano yan? Yung hiningi ko sa kanya kanina na ipakita niya? Ano yung punong hiningi ko? Na sabi ko latratuhan niya. What is that? Wow! Ang ganda ng picture mo. Ang taba ng halaman. Yung okra at malunggay. At to... Uh, Okra, yun, ang ganda, ang taba. Virgie, tawagan kita. Bakit sa'yo ang taba-taba? May pataba ka ba? Oh. Ano daw ang mga kinakain na dapat kainin? Who can answer this para sa mga nagbe-menopause? Can someone answer? Whether it is prof, uh, whether it is our nutritionist, baka wala na sila. It's almost one o'clock. Um, hmm, I cannot answer that. Asha, alam mo ba yan? Malayo ka pa sa menopause, bata ka. Well, sige, we'll try to answer it. Uh, can Chef Jam, um, Virgit, are you still with us? Ano daw ang para sa nagmemenopause? Can someone answer? If not, I will go. Cara Gonzalez, uh, my dear friend Cara, she's the one I supply vegetables to. Okay. Um, can there be part two on nutrition? Yes. We will do one hour on culinary heritage. Kasama na dyan ang nutrition. Pero kung gusto nyo, isa pa on nutrition. Sige, nutrition pa more. <laughs> Helen Osorio Ventura, good morning. Congresswoman Lauren Legarda, good afternoon. Bianks Magulio, I read that you should drink two glasses of water upon waking up to activate your body. I think so too. Maganda siguro warm me. I put a slice of lemon and I plant my own lemon, organic. Vina Ramos, yes, watching. Ditas Virola. Uh, thank you, Senator Lauren Legarda. Hindi na po ako senator, but thank you very much. I'm Congresswoman of Antique. Thank you very much, Miss Ditas. <coughs> Napapagod na ako. Ang pwede ho mag-ano? Ang pwede? Uh, 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 ako po yung si Luchi from Rob. College of Home Economics. Yes, uh, uh, um, sanabi <laughs> po yung two glasses of water. That is yes. very uh, good upon waking up. No? Uh, first thing in the morning. But may I add that throughout the day, no, you should be constantly uh, drinking water, especially in our environment na napaka-init at uh, napaka-humid. Tapos po, yung tinatanong po ninyo tungkol sa menopause, no, ako po dumaan na ako sa menopause. No? <laughs> Doon po sa amin um, infographic na, na mention kung pwede ninyo puntahan, meron po doon isang uh, in-upload namin na para po sa mga elderly. No? So it's very specific for elderly na pwede po nilang makuha doon na may mga uh, tips and, uh, you know, things that you can do as you age. No? Not one does not have to age so that you grow older, one can age gracefully. Oh, sige. So we will go to your website. Um, we will also yes, post that at the end of this show. So maglalagay ka doon ano ang pang nagamenopause Ano ang pang senior citizens na hindi nag undergo ng menopause? Ano ang pang pahapi na pagkain? Um, dapaka special yung art card. I think it was um, our first speaker, Zenaida. Gustong gusto ko yung art card na yun. Ano yung pang endorphin, pang all of that. Para yun ang yun ang kakainin natin, ha? O sige. Okay, Joni Kapalaran, magandang buhay po. Senator Lauren, good job sa inyong programa. God bless you po. Lahat ng ating natututunan dito, ile-legislate natin. So, whether it's um, agroecology, organic farming, permaculture, ecology of food, whichever you call it, we will put this all together, Climate Change Commission and my office and Attorney Ipatluna into, uh, aside from the better normal, okay? And um, Merlin Trillanes Pas Cambiado, thank you, Madam Zeni Velasco, for sharing your invaluable knowledge. Of course, thank you, Senator Lauren Legarda. Well done. Salamat po. From Arlene Vidalio, Senator Lauren, your presence is a great help for everyone to easily understand 
food and nutrition. Yan po ang stories for a better normal. Hindi po tayo uh, puro policy lang at ito po ay research-based at science-based na webinar but I communicate it in a language that is simple, hopefully to understand, with pictures and video and we repost it so that everybody can go back to it. Ah, then I try to simplify. Being a communicator, I know how to make people understand all of these important ones. Okay. And um, from um, Joy Denaco, ang canned tuna po ba hindi po pwede for omega-3 since processed food siya? Um, <laughs> College of Home Economics, uh, Professor? Yes. Uh -oh. uh, opo, meron po yun. Uh, uh, okay omega -3. Opo, okay, as long as uh, we always say in moderation. In moderation. Okay, thank you. Esperanza Santos, again, not all sugar are equal. Totoo pa yan, depende po sa klase ng sugar. Bianks Magulio, ano pong alternative for coffee lovers? Hindi naman po masama ang kape, di ba? Hanggang two uh, cups of coffee is okay. So, um, uh, ano pong alternative? Um, coffee is good, one or two cups. And then salmon... Uh, from the wild, not cultured like bangus, tilapia, and cream dory. I think, is that a question or a statement? But anyway, from iCrops International, how, I hope this presentation will be shared on our Facebook. Yes, iCrops International. Are you familiar with them? Yes, we will share it on our Facebook. And, you know, you don't even have to ask my permission. Share and share. All of the resource persons here and your friends and associates, share this webinar the longest we've had in our eight webinars esperanza santos two cups is ideal but not all coffee are equal dapat brewed and local i grow my own coffee because my lola maming the mother of my late mom planted coffee in the 1950s ayan rodeline de tomas malones the slides are seen on facebook very good Crisel de reyes Nakikita pa daw niya. Ah, very good. Esperanza Santos, great input. Nice presentation. Rizel Grave, Seco Balagtas, good morning, good afternoon. Madeline Odarbe, wow, sabi niya. Thea Pentason, UP Pandanons for Sasha Joso and dami naman ni Sasha. Okay. Arlene Vidalio, good presentation. Michael Sanchez, yung bignay. Okay, ano yung anti-desma bunyo? Sino makakasagot niyan? Oh, chef. Ano daw yung anti-desma bunyo? Yung bignay, alam ko yun. Meron ako ang punong bignay na kinakain mo yung putas. Pag deep red na siya, pwede rin gawing jam, pwede rin press kong kinakain, pwede rin gawing mind. Pero ano yung anti-desma bunyo? I-research yan ni Asha. Hmm. Uh, from DK Makandili, uh, Good morning, Madam Sinaida. Are you still there? Anong benefits? ng guyabano. Ah, yung mga hindi na maisagot dahil umalis na yung ating mga ibang guests ng tatlong oras na po tayo, sasagutin natin sa page na kung saan sila nagtanong. Ito sa Climate Change page. Calling on Vice Chair Commissioner Manny uh, de Guzman and uh, Commissioner Rachel. Okay? Um, Merly, still watching. Luis Davila, great presentation. Mary Grace Orfila, so well-rounded legislator, our dear Congresswoman, naku, nakakatuwa naman kayo po, DSL in Dailoran. Thank you po, Miss Mary Grace. Susan Bantolo Hooper, hello, Congresswoman. You are the best. Salamat po, nakakatuwa naman kayo. Chona Saldivar, yes, go, go, from Pandan. Ay, naku, I miss Pandan. Ang ganda-ganda ng aking hometown. Abasi, direct Arden, ang daming text, ang daming Facebook. UP Pandanon, for Sasha Joso. Talagang grabe ka, no, Sasha, no? Nakakatuwa ka. Okay. Pilipipan ako, ma'am. And then, um, Jello Cruz, magandang umaga po sa lahat. Trish de Guzman, very nice topic. Okay, and uh, am I reading from last week? No. Nanette Morato, Dr. Virgit, and classmate, Miss Lucci, you have classmates here. Very good. LV Casimiro, watching from... Um, Ciudad Medical Zambo, oh, all the way in Zamboanga, Baby Edlin Zamora, good morning. Gebusyon Canalita Ponce from Caloocan City, kamusta po kayo sa may komento? Arlene Vidalia, good day po. Mary Grace Urfilia, 
mula sa anini e very good anini e nandiyan yung ating uh, napakagandang simbahan na restore po natin okay good morning so happy to hear you again fritz hermoso season uh, good morning in dailoren i'm so excited to listen and apply it and practice i hope that everything we talked about from our nutritionists to our chefs uh, can be applied ed elia from Houston, Texas. Wow, what time is it there now? And um, uh, Marimar Bumanlag from Mamzeni in Las Piñas. Hello. Eddie Elia, a uh, proud Antique. Very good. Araceli Banasha watching from UP Dilaman. Hello. Marimar Bumanlag from Las Piñas. Oh, she loves gardening. Very good. Nesider Aguirre Licoc from Washington, D.C. Hello, very good. Share the information in Washington or Texas or whatever. From Antoinette Acantilado, good morning. Merle, good morning. And Joseph Chua, good morning. Jeff Padre Juan, love you, San Lauren. We miss you. Oh, I miss you too. Are you from Antique? And uh, Adora Contreras, good morning. Biancs Magulo, Abigail Cruzada, Jessica. Vista Lobrico, good morning. Christine Itliong, magkaroon po ba ng replay? Yes, we will post all this. Uh, do I already have uh, the Facebook? Uh -huh. Can you kindly give me uh, the Facebook page where you will post it? Uh, can you text it to me now, Cherie, as well as the YouTube channel? We would also would like to encourage everyone to put your planting journey. Saan po kayo nagsimula sa inyong pagtanim? sa isang buto. San po kayo nagsimula sa paghiwalay ng basura, sa paggawa ng organic compost? Ano po yung unang paso na inyong tinamnan? Ito ba'y recycled na bote, lata o plastic? Tumubo ba ang inyong tinanim? Gaya po ni Carol Malasig, almost diplomatic on her Instagram sa Berlin. Sabi niya, I cannot join you because I've never planted anything in my life. Aba, ngayon po, nagtanim siya ng cherry tomato. Ang ganda-gandang kinakain niya. Kagabi, pinakita sa akin, bumili siya ng lavender plant. Ang bango-bango daw at nakakatulog, relaxing, at ipapatubo niya yan. Okay, very good. Can someone text me our YouTube? Okay. Uh, very simple, Kong Lauren Legarda. Madali pong malaman yan at maalala Nanjan po yung ating eight shows, episodes, webinars of Stories for a Better Normal. Panuuri na rin nyo ang Conversations with a Champion. Nanjan po yung aking mga batas on environment. Panuuri na rin nyo yung ating Protected Area Stock with DENR. Ayan, tapos sa aking YouTube channel. Simple sa YouTube, Lauren Legarda. Mapapanood nyo ang Stories for a Better Normal. Mapapanood nyo ang Dayaw. Yan po ang ating tangible and intangible heritage. Wow! Three hours. Thank you so much to all our nutrition experts. Thank you to our health experts. Thank you to our uh, mappers of culinary heritage and our chefs and our Visayan, Western Visaya Studies. Sa Akon Makasimanwa, sa Antike, ang inyong Inday Loren ay patuloy na nagtatrabaho dito po sa Kongreso sa panahon ng pandemya at ginawa po natin yung Bayanihan Act na nagbigay ng Social Amelioration Program at patuloy po tayo gumagawa ng mga batas at ang ating mga webinar ay tumutulong para po maagapan ang ating mga hamon sa panahon ng pandemya. And so, we will post, I'll repeat, this on Kong, on, on Lauren Legarda YouTube. Lauren Legarda YouTube, all the shows, Kong Lauren Legarda Facebook, and the Climate Change Facebook. Okay? And all of our resource persons, contact details, are you ready? Uh, we'll put it in an art card, and we will also put all the links to their face, ayan, on their Facebook pages. We will, yan, ayan ha. Thank you, Zenaida Velasco, Virgit Buena, Luci Calianta, 
John Melchor, Asha Perry, Manuel Onalan, Sasha Jos So. Did I miss anyone? So, nandyan po. We will put that uh, on YouTube, on Facebook, and the Facebook of all our participants. Salamat kay Carla Delgado sa ating uh, uh, collaboration, ang Kai Farms. Salamat rin kay um, Paula Abarasturi uh, ng Down to Earth and of course the Climate Change Commission. Uh, I thank all of you. I should stop talking and start eating a biodiverse diet. Okay? Thank you. Duro, duro, gin ka salamat. Palangga ko ka mo. Eat a biodiverse diet. Eat local. Love local. Grow your own food. After this, magtanim kayo ng kangkong, ng saluyot, ng alukbati, maski ano. Natatawa si Mr. Joso. Pinakamarami ang iyong fans club. Mas marami kaysa sa akin. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mayag nga hapon. Karin nga tanan. Thank you. Thank you. First day at 10 o'clock. Salamat, kid. Uh, salamat, UP College of Economics Tea Room. Please uh, follow Republic Act 9003, Ecological yes, Solid Waste Management. Professor Lu, salamat po. Thank you din Bye. po. Bye. Have a good day. Isang lundi ang hapon. Ating lahat.